The Joe Cronin Show with Joe Cronin. Personality, insight, and insanity. Wrestling talk with attitude. This is my dear loyal lieutenant, Brother Cronin. He's a good man. How about this? If you're going to call the show, grow a sack. If I offend you, fuck you. Look at that blank screen, baby. Look at that blank screen, motherfuckers. Look at that goddamn blank fucking screen. You look at that black screen and you like that shit. You like that shit. You like that black screen. You take that black screen and you enjoy the fuck out of it. Okay? God damn it. Motherfucking audio problems. For some reason, every time I start my... uh. Every time I start my audio stuff, it reverts to the camera microphone. Every time now. Every single fucking time. It's never done that before, ever. And it doesn't matter, too, because I have it saved the way... Like, I'll, I will do a show, have the microphone on, I'll go away, I'll come back, and I'll go to record again. Didn't t change anything, didn't turn anything off, didn't do anything weird. And all of a sudden, it just decided to revert back once again to the camera microphone. Why in the fuck would it do that? I don't know. I have no idea. We'll have Jake on here in a second. That was SmackDown. We talked about last night. Uh, could SmackDown be any worse than this abomination that was Monday Night Raw? And it wasn't... I don't think tonight SmackDown was very good. I the, I, I will say that I... I mean, like, what did you enjoy? Something just was off about SmackDown again tonight. It felt longer than usual. That's another thing I'll say. It felt longer than usual. It literally felt almost exactly like Raw in a way. I love this this scene, this segment with AJ. Tell me what you guys think because I enjoyed this segment with AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura. That was probably the shining light, was probably the best part of SmackDown was watching uh, that moment. I thought it was funny as fuck, especially when he pulled out the pen at the end. Now, a lot of people have been talking about Road Dog all of a sudden. He's back in the news. People telling me, oh, you know, Road Dog, uh, Joe Road Dog is off SmackDown. You, now he writes Raw. Well, that it may be true that he's off SmackDown. We don't really know yet. I've asked him. But Road Dog was, so Road Dog's former position was in charge of SmackDown. So he was the one going with the storylines, deciding on everything. He wasn't necessarily writing all the storylines. He had a team of people who wrote stuff. They sat down at a table at some point, and Road Dog went through. Good idea, Paul. Bad idea, John. You know, I'm going to, let's do this instead, or what about this? You know, he was sort of like, and then he would bring it to Vince McMahon and say, here's what we're doing for SmackDown. And Vince would say, 
all right, all sounds good, but why don't you put this guy here and that this happens? And then Road Dog would either go back and change it or he would do what he wants to do. So you essentially had a writing team. Then you had Road Dog, who was like the guy who was making the decisions. And then at the end, they would not even, they, they wouldn't necessarily have to get it approved by Vince McMahon, but they would run it by Vince McMahon. So, you know, I mean, like, hey, here's what we're doing. You know, so I guess they're sort of getting it approved. So, so uh, at the same time Road Dog was doing that, he was writing segments for Raw. He's always been helping produce segments for Raw. One or two or three segments per Raw. So, you know, people saying that he produced segments on Raw, you know, it really doesn't change anything. He's been doing that. There's, there's nothing different there. Uh, and I don't see too much different anywhere else either. But, um, you know, maybe there has been a change. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell at this point. And if there's been a change, we'll I guess we'll try to find it. We'll do our best to find out if there has been a change. I did tweet him, reach out to him. Usually he responds late at night on after SmackDown. So I'm assuming he's there. And if that's the case, I'll hear from him at midnight or 1 o'clock. If he wants to talk, I'll hear from him then. Otherwise, maybe I won't hear from him. But I did tweet him, and people are retweeting that a lot. So maybe he will uh, respond. He's been very open before, so possibly. Uh, there's my initial thoughts of SmackDown. thought it was kind of a cluster. wasn't very entertaining to me. Um, I did enjoy a few parts that were kind of funny. Uh, Jake, what do you think? Yeah, uh, everyone's saying that, oh, it's better than Raw. Yeah, but you guys could have watched me sit on the toilet after eating way too many tacos for two hours, and that would have been more exciting than Raw. Yeah. SmackDown, it, it was better, obviously, but I, I don't know. It, I don't know. It just felt I don't very know. unorganized. Was it better? It was, like, it was tolerable. Last night was atrocious. Last night was was painful to watch. Well, Tonight wasn't as painful. Here's why I'm not sure. And yeah, it's, it wasn't as painful because it was two hours. But here's why I'm not sure. I don't know because, th I mean, Seth Rollins had a decent match the other night. So didn't Finn and Owens. Yeah, Finn and Owens had a good match at the end. Was there any good matches tonight on SmackDown? I, I do have to go back to the last night's review. And that's one of the things, you know, so people don't realize. Just because you or I have an opinion last night, opinions change. And I admit that. I admit when I'm wrong. I admit when something changes, our stance changes. Something changed? And, well, last night I, I had watched three hours of Raw, and it was so dreadfully bad that by the time Finn and Owens got, you know, to the main event, I just wanted it to be over. Yeah, it was I pretty, couldn't take pretty good. it. Like it was just, I was so burnt out at that point in time that they could have had the greatest match in the history of wrestling. I wouldn't have given two shits because the rest of the show just bogs you down and destroys your <laughs> will to live. Well, I, I agree. I think that we're what we're doing is we're factoring in the feeling of the show, the vibe of the show. Like yes, like as the, a whole, the, not just in in segments. It's it's basically like the poison of the show, like poisoned us so much. That, yes, if you broke segments up. I mean, seriously, I would. If you said, like, okay, what was good about Raw last night? I would have said, well, it was about 25 minutes of Raw that you could tolerate. Uh, the match yeah. the match with Finn in the main event was pretty good. And earlier on, the Seth Rollins stuff was pretty good. And maybe, like, a joke or two after that. And that's about it. Yeah, pretty pretty much all in all. But I did go back and I rewatched the main event earlier today. Um, I was waiting, you know, killing time at the doctor's office, and it was it was much better than it, you know my viewing last night. Yeah, coming into it fresh and and a little more open minded, they really did do an excellent job, and I was more okay with the DQ finish too. It felt better suited than one going on top of the other, you know. But last night I was just so frustrated, and when you're at that point where something gives you a non-finish you're like oh fuck this like you just you write it off quickly so yeah. being in the heat of the moment but it, it was better than i i gave it credit for last night i will say that tonight though the wrestling wasn't all there it really wasn't but smackdown maybe, didn't deliver with as it usually does i'm sorry but oscar's match with mandy rose and you know sonia it, it felt like a, a, a you know a train derailed like <laughs> it just it didn't meet like they were trying to go too fast they kept messing up, uh, you know, small little moves here and there. And it, it just, again, you know, not to take from you, but it felt like a clusterfuck. And then Luke Harper and well, Carl Bailey. Anderson. I would take for Bailey if that's the case. Yeah. By the way, I apologize uh, for the 360p uh, video tonight, guys. I accidentally started the video on a very low resolution. So I apologize. I know the screen looks blurry probably. 
So my I wish bad. they could change that when you're live, but you could just well, fix I the could, resolution. Yeah, I could, but yeah, we'd lose the. Um, yeah, no, if you didn't have to reset the stream, I wish there was a way to edit that. In I real mean, time. I could stop it. I could quickly stop the stream, reset it, and start it again, and we'd only lose a little bit of a blip. And I could, I could do that. I could do it, but I'm not gonna. But yeah. Yeah, because then you know the the, the show itself gets kind of yeah. At least a hundred people doesn't... will be like, oh, it's paused. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Or it doesn't all get uploaded, and we've had that problem before too. So. Then you get powerhouses, you know, Luke Harper, Carly Anderson, they're going to face off, and they give you three minutes. I know it's a two-hour show, but they spent so long in the beginning with Carmella, and it just went on and on and on to lead into Asuka, you know, in the handicap match, and the payoff was not worth any of what the buildup was. Hmm. And then I, I was excited to see Becky and Charlotte go at it one-on-one, -on -one. and I know they're going to treat each other fairly, you know, they're, they're face versus face, they're best friends. And I, I, you know, kind of rolled my eyes, but also chuckled at the same time when they had each other's leg. And, you know, no, put it down. No, you put it down. Oh. But I felt like they could have given us a lot more out of that match. And again, yeah. it just th that was the theme of the night. It was rushed. The whole thing was just that was know, just cringy. Poorly dude. put together. That was cringy when they grabbed each other's legs. And so I said, I rolled my eyes, but it, it, part of me made me chuckle like, OK, I see what they're trying to do here, but it's just not working. No, it's it's not working, and uh, the crowd wasn't buying it either. I thought no, we were the in, crowd shit all over it. I thought we were in Boston. I saw a Bruins jersey on the ramp and one on the other side. I was like, "What is going on in Corpus Christi? Is that is that Boston too over there? What's going on? Like like straight up Bruins jerseys in the crowd. Why <laughs> like what the like why in June are you wearing a like absolute authentic Bruins jersey? You know what I mean? So I was like, are we in Rhode Island tonight? And I, I forgot, like, maybe I'm crazy. And then they said Corpus Christi. And I was like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> that would be why. But uh, awesome. What's up to the Bruins fans who are there? But uh, yeah, I had more fun tonight with Nate from VA uh, chiming in on Twitter. He let me know that someone stole a tank and was on the highway in a high speed chase. So I started watching that on the computer in real time. They were, <laughs> you know, showing the story developing. I guess he just gave up, though, and the cops got him. So. That's funny because... Um, as long as no one's getting hurt, if someone's cruising around a tank, it is friggin' hilarious. I'm sorry. That but. is pretty funny. Yeah, unless they blow up somebody's house, but... Yeah, no, you don't want to see people get hurt, but just a tank cruising down the highway with a load of patrol cars behind it was pretty amusing. You know, it'd be awesome if he blew up a cop car. Like, the, the cop... <laughs> you, even the cop even the cop was okay, though. You know what I mean? Somehow the cop survived, but, oh, a, the, but a guy the cops blew out up. the car, and, and then, you know, they're surrounding him, and he just kind of pulls the Terminator, you know, where they <laughs> blows up all the all the cars. By the way, I think last time we were here, we called the place, uh, we did call the place Corpse Crispy or Cor Crispy Corpse or yeah. Corpse is Crispy or something. We made fun of it last time because they, they're well, pretty. Well, look at how dead it was. They, I mean, they're not a terrible crowd. Normally, like, they're, like, somewhat, they're all right. But just, yeah, they're not munging it usually, but. What are you going to cheer for? Well, that's the thing. And plus, well, they wish they were munging how... it. That's the thing. A lot of those southern states, they don't munging it at all. You know, what I mean, you, you know, how Philadelphia is munging. Quiet. It. Yeah, the arena was was like at least at least thirty percent empty. Mm -hmm. That's being generous, or you know, on the lower side, I should say, not as generous as I want to be. So, yeah, it's um, they're just they're. I know it's a, a it was terrible. I was hoping for at least a five. I would honestly. Dude, I would have sucked a dick for a 5 out of 10 tonight. Like a 4, even a 5 out of 10. I would have blown somebody. If it was a 5 out of 10 tonight, I would have been like, pretty good, little 5 out of 10. Not bad. All right, SmackDown. Pretty good. 5 out of 10. Still a fail, but whatever. But, dude, I would say that this, if not, I would, I might have to say this is as bad as Raw because Raw had better wrestling, and this was horrible. But, it, but the Nakamura and AJ Styles scene was my favorite thing that happened at all from yesterday or today i loved that backstage thing that was yeah that was the best contract me. signing that we've seen in quite was, a while it was different and like and like not nakamura like it's so funny what he's doing he's like a troll he's like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna sign it with the pen and all this stuff he's like <laughs> smelling the pen and then when aj walks away he pulls out his own pen like i fucking thought that was great that was funny as shit to me i don't know yeah. why i mean maybe i got low standards right now but, like, that was the most creative thing, aside from Baron Corbin doing what he did the other night, that I've seen recently. So, credit for that. I, I think their problem is they don't watch their own product. Because, yeah. what was it, about two, three weeks ago, Lana was in the back telling Rusev that basically she was hinting at wanting to get rid of Aiden English. Yeah. And now tonight she's teaming with now him. Now she's teaming with him, yeah. 
And like Blue Easy said in the chat too, Aiden what saved the Naomi big time during that over the top spot. That was a huge botch. If he didn't catch her, damn, that would have ended in injury for sure. Dude, there was a few things in that one. Uh, what was the one where um, Lana? No, uh, no, it was the Oscar match where they were. Uh, what's her face? Uh, who's the fighting Sonya? girl? Sonya, whatever. I get, they all get confused now with their yeah. dumb MMA look. Um, <laughs> so Sonya Deville uh, was supposed to duck the kick, go off the rope, and spear her. Yep. And yep. Sonya forgot. Instead, she tried to block the kick, and then. Oscar fell down and then she fell down and then yeah, she ate all of that and yeah. then like completely got bailed out on her ass. That's why I said that match felt like a train wreck, you know, like it was totally yeah. derailed from the get go. Both, you know, Oscar and then Absolution, whatever you want to call them, 2.0, they they were just going too fast and it felt very rushed. These so are they, new, they just like, couldn't connect. Seriously, these are new girls. Like, people don't even understand. Like, dude, fucking, I would call. Like, Flip Gordon, for Christ's sake, right? Flip Gordon in Ring of Honor is still, like, kind of a rookie. Like, people don't understand. Again, this guy started training for wrestling three years ago. You know what I mean? And he had his first match pretty quickly. Like, Flip Gordon is still three years into the business. Sonya Deville, I don't remember how long she's in the business for, but I thought it's two years. And, and you know what I mean? Like, there's a big difference between those two people with how much flip does as far as flipping and moves and and athleticism and what he does compared to what Sony Deville's doing and it's just weird dude like and, and then same thing with Mandy now both women have improved and Mandy has improved they really have they've been somewhat impressive um but you know you just got to remember how like you know Oscar's been doing this fucking forever oh my god here it is <laughs> I gotta trigger these things. <laughs> hey Joe. Hey. My girl is away, so I just ferociously jerked off during SmackDown instead yeah. of watching it. Cum shot. <laughs> Just watching you in my post ejaculatory glow now. Oh my god, dude. That was I wish you could have heard that donation, Jake. What the fuck? <laughs> dude, he basically said he was jacking off because his girlfriend was out and then said that he was whacking off watching me in his glory of uh yeah. whatever. But it was a uh, post ejaculatory glow now. Ejaculat mm. ejaculatory <laughs> glow now. Seth Rollins <laughs> average boner. That's who that was. Damn Seth Rollins' average boner. By the way, guys, if you want to donate tonight, the link is down below, as always. Twitch alerts uh, slash donate something or other, whatever the fuck. Go ahead and donate. I'm going to put them on pause for a second while I just go ahead and uh, fix my shit real quick because my audio I had some issues here. Uh, so I'm going to let Jake uh, rant take over for a second. I'll be right, I'll be right back with you. And uh, we'll play some of these donations in a second. But uh, go ahead, Jake. I'll be right there. This, my mic's off <laughs> this for a pen's broken. Like Nakamura, he is just... So entertaining. You can tell he's going off the script, too. You know why? Because he can't read English, I bet. <laughs> That's the problem. You know, just in all serious note, a serious note, no, he just he can't, you know, you see what happens when you let these two act out a little bit and be a little bit larger than life. Everybody tonight, it was just, it was so sinful to watch the New Day act like three-year-old children in the back, seeing Big E's face. All wide-eyed and, and and you know celebratory because you had the Miz put his hand in pancake batter. That was the big haha of that moment. Come on, the pancake thing has to go. I I've not enjoyed that from the get-go. Moment one, I thought that was stupid. It doesn't even seem like a lot of people in the crowd or the kids are really behind it too. Everybody liked the Budio cereal and they were into the unicorn, you know, freaking light-up headband and. The pancake thing, I I don't I don't care for it. I don't get it. It's just that's booty. Um, <laughs> and seeing it with the Miz, you know, the Miz deserves better. Here, you know, I'm I'm reading a story, you know, three hours ago that's talking about how Daniel Bryan is now the Sky Bets odds favorite to main event next year's WrestleMania, and they're talking about all the reasons why that this might happen. And WrestlingRumors.net, you know, is talking how the world champion is the featured in the odds more than anyone else. Eight to one odds that the former IC and WWE champion will take on Roman Reigns. 
a 12 to 1 chance he will continue his feud with the Miz, AJ Styles, or even have a fantasy match against Nakamura. But the thing is, is that, you know, we're hearing now as well, Daniel Bryan and the Miz made the WWE Universe believe that there was real life hatred between the two of them when, you know, Daniel Bryan was the general manager of SmackDown Live. Everything we saw on Talking Smack and, you know, it, it, the legendary promo that we got from that. And, you know, we've seen Daniel Bryan tweet out multiple times how long he's waited to punch his face in with the hashtag and, you know, the Miz comments, you might injure yourself and be out another three years if you punch my face and things like this. Like, you know, they, they've had such great banter. Well, now apparently we might see a match between the two at fucking SummerSlam. How great would that be? How fucking awesome would that moment be? The buildup, you know, everything that we've, we've wanted to see for so long, it would be fantastic. And then the Miz is putting his fucking hand in pancake batter tonight. Your top heel, essentially, on the show, or at least one of. Samoa Joe, I would actually consider the top heel right now. But that's only because the Miz is busy fucking off with pancake batter. I had so many people tweeting me about, oh, look, he put his hand in cum. It's funny. But we're laughing at him, not with them. It's so childish and ridiculous. It's as bad as when they put the you know the font up on the screen and bring up the big graphics. I know it's PG, but how many times have Joe or myself gone ahead and explained scenarios where you can still be edgy and adult without, you know, being <laughs> having the need to swear or bring in blood or, you know, parade the girls around like strippers? It, you know, you don't need to resort to the attitude era tactics of that nature to still be interesting, dramatic and entertaining. Miz deserves so much better. And it's just, it's depressing. It is. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing from the rumors about, you know, all this with Daniel Bryan. And it, it felt, yet again, like a, a huge loss of star power had happened. Because we didn't see Daniel Bryan tonight out there. And yeah, we had a backstage segment. But no match for AJ or Nakamura is also a huge hindrance. It takes away from the overall important feel that the show actually has. So... You know, we're trying to get some uh, hey, calls to come in while Skype gets fixed in the background. Sorry about the, the pause there. Hey, Jake. Hey, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Give me one second. I'm trying to put the uh, – yeah, I got no a caller on. I'm trying to get him on for you while I fix this. Yeah, that's okay. You know, I know I see CJ uh, in the chat saying, stop, stop, mania is all hype. No, no, no. I, I get that. And, and we were disappointed by, you know – freaking Nakamura and AJ's match I think the match that we're going to get money in the bank will be the best out of everything we've gotten so far and sadly it took how many times for them to wrestle this will be their fifth encounter but I mean I, I feel like SummerSlam Daniel Bryan in The Miz could be excellent these two have had you know great matches previously they, they've, they've worked well together as far as promo work goes and you know they're, they're, they're consistently able to deliver solid entertaining matches so i apologize for the audio and video issues but we're trying to fix things in the background but yeah i mean that was just the problem tonight you know the, the, the star power was certainly lacking with aj and nakamura only having a backstage segment i wish that they did that in the ring you know it, it's better for the live crowd maybe they'll show up for the dark match tonight for the people there if not that's really disappointing especially not having daniel bryan be out there either um the main event <sighs> Again, you know, it, it kind of felt like last night with SmackDown being just as as boring and chaotic as it was and just that much of a clusterfuck. You, you see the New Day take on Rusev, Samoa Joe, and The Miz, and it just it didn't interest me. It was a fun match, but it wasn't anything that you have to write home about. It's not something that I'm going to watch again anytime soon. I, they're getting some good TV matches here and there, but I feel like Rusev should be less comical at this point and more kind of like pushing why Rusev Day matters and being a face. They should have turned him the moment he literally got put into a casket by The Undertaker. When he was buried at the Greatest Royal Rumble, should have been the moment where he disappeared for a couple of weeks, came back, reinvented as a face. Would have been perfect timing. Things would have worked out nicely. And I think that would have benefited you know, him and, and rejuvenated his career exponentially. Samoa Joe cuts just a, a short, sweet, scathing promo backstage and immediately reminds you why he is the best on the mic as far as heels go right now. Everything he said was just, 
oh, fantastic. He's so just excellent. He's very poignant, and he's just able to work, you know, magic with words. He makes you believe that he is bad and dangerous. But I like the fact that he said, oh, it's sad that everybody focuses on the negatives rather than the fact that I keep my promises. I enjoyed it. You know, he, he goes ahead and he makes you want to see him succeed. You hear the crowd chanting, Joe, Joe, Joe. There's a reason why he's getting so much support as a heel. Because he's badass. This is what people have been clamoring for. This is what people want to see. And no, I'm not being negative, but I, I, you know, oh, I see negative Jake again. That's not it. You know, I just, I know that they have the talent. that They, they can give us so much more. When you see Nakamura and AJ give us a segment like this, why can't that be done every single week? Why can't we have interactions like that? You know, I think they kind of need to go back a little bit more towards the old school days where they had, you know, just a simple, the guy comes up to the interviewer on the mic, says what he has to say, and then we have the match. Because when they do these long, drawn-out skits and, and segments out there in the ring, it doesn't work. It really doesn't. Samoa Joe tonight cutting the promo backstage then coming out for the match reminds me of like, you know, what we used to see from The Rock or even, you know, <laughs> greats before them. It, it, it just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just disappointed. I really am. It's, it's frustrating. It's just very frustrating. The fact that Samoa Joe, you know, can, can say these things and make you feel something again, and then you go into the next segment and you just want to change the channel is mind-blowing. Big Cass, uh, he's a hard one to, to really, you know, wrap my head around at this point. He, he brings up some some decent points overall. His promo work has been solid. I, I, I've been a bit harsh on him at times, but I've also been behind him since he came back from his injury. You know, I, I've enjoyed most of his work. I just haven't enjoyed exactly how they booked him. You know, it's been very predictable. We knew that he was going to lose and then beat down Brian, but... I think they could have handled it a bit more respectfully. I think they could have made him a little bit more intimidating, that much more of a threat to Daniel. Right now it feels like, oh, well, Daniel can topple him with a submission hold. You know, if he gets him in a good leg twist, he's done for. Uh, he, you know, he told Daniel Bryan to go home and be a garden gnome on Total Bellas. That was funny. And he said that he'll make sure that, you know, he'll he'll never survive in a big man's world. And... It, it that I want to see, you know, I want to see the match. I want to see money in the bank because of these two, these type of things is what you're looking forward to. But if he keeps losing and you have in the back of your mind, well, shit, Daniel Bryan can just roll him up and take him out. Fuck. <laughs> what good is it? Well, you know, you get him in a quick submission. He's going to tap out. What more do we have? Yeah. Glorious Eugene that, that I did chuckle at IHOP is changing their name to IHOP. That made me laugh. But, uh, you know, the pancake thing and I don't see eye to eye. Uh, you know, I, like, you know, I saw a few people say that Big Cass's interview was just hollow. And, and that's the same. That's what I'm trying to get at here is that, you know, as much as he tries to make these these just demanding points that he's a big guy and he's going to go ahead and, and make sure no one stands in his way. He doesn't back it up. He gets his ass kicked by the midget, Daniel Bryan. He goes ahead, he gets torn down, he gets destroyed, he taps out. And I think when you have to submit to someone, you know, that that's the ultimate admittance of defeat. From there, how, how are you supposed to be a credible threat? Even if he did kick his ass afterwards, the, the, the midget just made you tap in front of thousands of people. So maybe now they can have him, you know, after this feud, uh, you know, start facing someone. He needs to be... I would have liked to have seen him, Big Cass, go through some of the, you know, the the mid-carters, you know, like Sin Cara and such. And speaking of which, does anybody care about Sin Cara? Face, oh, this is just a waste. You know, it really is. Zelina Vega, you know, she she does well on the mic. And I, I just don't want to see Almas and Sin Cara fight next week. That does nothing for me. I don't care for Sin Cara. I, I wish Almas... You know, I, I know everybody needs a starting point, but I would have rather have just seen them have a match. Trying to insert, insert, excuse me, a story where it's not needed it does nothing for anybody. It just muddies up the waters. It makes it less than interesting, and unfortunately, it just needs to be done with already. And it feels, 
I, I know they're trying to harken back and be like, okay, they have history between these two. There's a bit of heritage, but it feels yep. like, okay, well, he's he's Mexican, so let's go ahead and oh, they they Hello. were best friends. Hey, what's going on? Hello, guy. Yeah, this is uh, this is Mike, the angry wrestling fan. Oh, Mike. Hey, what's going on, Mike? Yo, fuck you, Jake. You cocksucking faggot ass bitch. Oh, fuck me. Why? What's wrong? You sound angry today. You a stupid motherfucker. Let me tell you how it is. You and Joe, you don't know. Let me tell you how it is, motherfucker. Go ahead. Tell me how it is. Let me tell you how it is, motherfucker. Vince McMahon sucks so much dick that his own fucking goddamn stepson swallows that cum. Triple H swallow Vince's cum, I'm saying to you. Oh, it sounds like uh, this might be something you're thinking about a bit too much. You shut the fuck up, you Oompa Loompa motherfucker. I will choke your ass, motherfucker. Damn, getting a little, uh, little hostile there, Mike. You, I will rape you. I, I will rape you. No, I- you and I will I will asshole and it's fifty eight your fucking fuck ass. Damn, Mike, you just uh I think you need some counseling. Yo, Mandy Rose, are you listening, Mandy Rose? Yo, I got dick for you. I got dick for you, Mandy Rose. Yeah. Leave the WWE and come with me, man. We gonna steal some shit. I'm gonna eat your pussy out. Yeah, fucking Mandy Rose, yo, big dick Johnson looking for you. <laughs> Yeah, give me that airtime, Jake. Give me that airtime, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen here, Mike. Uh, you and your friend Mark are uh, going to have to, uh, you know, find something different to watch from now on if this is how you're going to react. Yeah, I'm fucking, I'm having drinks, man. I listen to you and Joe all the time. I'm having a fucking glass of shit. I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm just fucking with you. But seriously, I want that Mandy Rose pussy. You want that Mandy Rose? want that win. What that fucking snow bunny is fucking... Through the loom, asshole. You know she's out dick hunting. You know what? I forgive Roseanne. You know, I forgive that big fat whore. You know, I fucking, you know, I, she say a bunch of shit, but it, I know that she fuck a brother when it come down to it. She get on top of my, she rob my fucking staff. You think so? You don't think she's racist? I think so, man. I think she fucking, fucking have a big ass orgasm on my goddamn Johnson. She'd be like, oh. Oh, you know, at the end of the Roseanne show when she's like, <laughs> bitch would be crying on my fucking rod. So you think she just... Bitch would be crying on my rod. She's racist at all. Then why would she say those things if you don't think she's racist? Dude, I'll fuck her till she loves black people, motherfucker. I'll fuck her till she... I might fuck her into being racist. She might be fucking racist to white people after she tastes this fucking cock. Ah, uh-huh, so you're saying once you go black, you don't go back. Yo, fuck her ex-boyfriend, too, Tom Otto, that four-eyed fucking cum guzzler. Fuck him, too. Hey, Jake, let me ask you something. You ever been to a wrestling event and a wrestling fan try to touch your dick? So yes. you beat the shit out of him in the parking lot until he can't see straight, and then you fucking slap his bitch around, and then you got the cops looking around for you for years, but they never figure out it was you, so you laugh like a motherfucker? <laughs> I can't say that's happened to me, but... Is that a personal story or just a friend of yours? Something that happened to them? Yo, I gotta go slap the fuck out of my kids. I'll see you later, man. All right, thanks for the great call. I appreciate it. Damn, that was uh, that was Mike. Sounds pretty angry, and well, he wants Roseanne to ride him. I'm all about that, I guess. He said wow. that she's not racist. So, well, I mean, this is why you know I've left you with phone calls before. Like I've I've walked away and left the phone call on, and yeah. there's always a. Uh, there's always one that gets through. There's always like a twenty. We always know that there's like a twenty percent chance that something bad's gonna <laughs> going uh, going yeah. to happen. And there's uh, if only I had the the, the Skype <laughs> powers, dude. Like I put you on. Who did I put you on with yesterday? That was fine. I put you on with um, who was it? Who did I put you on with? I don't remember. I forget now. But, I put you on with you somebody. Know, uh, he was pretty good though. You like sat here for five yeah. minutes with him, dude. I just there's ran. Callers. I just ran a wire from the desktop to the back of the computer, ran another wire to the mixer, and then plugged it in, everything in, and then it wasn't working, which meant one wire was off. Then I had everything hooked up, so I didn't know which wire it was. So then I had to rehook everything up with the wire that worked. 
dude, what I just did was fucking stupid. Um, but yeah, anyway, so the beginning, that's why the beginning of the show was jacked up. So I apologize for that. Well, at least you fixed it now. Now it doesn't sound like shit anymore. Yeah, no, I think I was okay anyway, but I was still like, there was something else that was bothering me and I was like, you know what? Let's just fucking fix it. Yeah, um, and you can't give Mike too much shit. I mean, he said he, he fucks with you and I, he's, he's a big fan, you know, he's just messing around. So, Hey, he wants to have a good time. Let him. That's what right. we're about here. Everybody having a good time. Hmm. <sighs> Plus he's obsessed with Roseanne. So and he my- might have a few warrants out. For his arrest, I'm not sure, but <laughs> right, uh, man, fucker. Someone said fucker out of racism. <laughs> That's right. Once you go black, you don't go back. Joe Ro- Joe Rogan is getting destroyed because he was like going to have her on. He's like really like yeah. Now she's mental. And then she backed and out, and yeah. she just went totally radio silent and disappeared. So, uh, yo, John Wills, what's up? Uh, jo- was it that obvious? I didn't do a very good voice. <laughs> I didn't really do a good voice. I didn't know what voice to do. I didn't know what I was doing. So I just, it slipped into fucking something it else. into a redneck black guy. Yeah, basically. I didn't, I don't know why, but it did. Uh, John says Joe calling his mic was so much freaking better than raw. That's pretty bad. Bar none. Hell like, yeah. I'm convinced. That was entertaining. That's, raw was so sleeper, dude. It was so sleeper. And so wasn't tonight. Tonight was another sleeper, man. Another fucking sleeper episode. <laughs> I should, I should have said <laughs> you can't be bragging about beating the shit out of your kids. I can go beat the shit out of my kids. Hey, it wasn't right me. Back. That was Mike. It wasn't me. That was Mike that, yeah. Mike's a real bastard. Mike said that. Possibly with we a few a, we, warrants. Everybody saw me and the kids the other day. We had a great trip to the mall. It was great. Uh, let me put AJ on the phone here, see if I can trigger these donations and you can hear them. Uh, yeah. Yo, Mike, what's up? Hey, what's up, Joe? How you doing, Mike? All right, so I picked this idea. Like, Wait, I, no, I'm sorry. This is <laughs> this is AJ. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we already talked to Mike. <laughs> what's up, AJ? All right, so I picked this idea. I know it's too early to predict, but I predict that the Miz is going to win the money in the bank and then have, I want to have Daniel Bryan face AJ Styles for the WWE Championship at SummerSlam. And then once Daniel Bryan wins the WWE Championship, the Miz is going to pull a Thanos and then snaps, and then everything goes away for Daniel Bryan. He looks to the WWE Championship, and then have Daniel Bryan win the Royal Rumble to face the Miz at WrestleMania, and then have that big main event right there. Yeah, I mean, that, that certainly sounds good, but realistically, I mean, we never know. You, you have all these reports you read, and, and you know you don't know what's legit, and people just making up shit at this point in time. But it seems—I mean, mo- most of what I said before, you know, they said it was speculation, but it's—it's, it's, uh, you know, people are betting the fact that Daniel Bryan will main event Mania next year for 35. But planned reports right now is saying that we're going to see a match between the Miz and Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam. So we'll see what happens, but. Yeah, I don't. I don't know either. It's it does. I I would agree that like SummerSlam or WrestleMania, big match between those two. Um, who's the? Uh, maybe, may, dude. It could be WrestleMania though. It could be. It could be Daniel Bryan the Miz at SummerSlam, or it could be Daniel Bryan the Miz at WrestleMania. But let's, either way, they'll make it worth. Your I while. think it makes more sense for SummerSlam though. I feel like the Miz, Daniel Bryan at SummerSlam, and then that leaves the possibility of Daniel Bryan winning the Rumble at WrestleMania to happen. Um, yeah, yeah. finally give him the rumble, finally go ahead and give him his chance to main event, you know, one-on-one singles match, no triple threat, it'd be nice. Yeah. Oh, sorry, AJ, I guess you, I think AJ hung up, I don't know if he lost connection, I was gonna go back to AJ, see what he thought of that, or see if he wanted something else, but, uh, yeah, me, uh how about CM Punk and Colt Cabana being, yeah, I mean, you know, not guilty or not liable. As predicted, it seems like, not only did they win, but it would seem like, as, as said, I told you, you, you got to have proof that he believed that he got to have proof that he knew he was lying. He was trying to defame or slander the doctor, the good doctor, right? Very similar to um, the bold guy suing H3H3 H3 in a way, very similar to, you know, Mustang Man getting his lawyer to issue cease and desist to many different people. Like, like put it, put it in the, put it in the confines of legal uh, work with like JD's summons and cease and desist that he sent out to everybody one of the things on there pretty much everything on there was almost a joke if you look through it but one of the things that was questionable 
was the cat thing. It was about saying like, oh, he's into cat yeah. be bestiality and, you know, that's not true. And you're saying all these things. Well, the thing about that is that was a that's a meme that started in the troll community about him and about us when we were doing our show. That started um, in his own. Discord. Yeah, that started in his own thing like that had nothing to do with me. So I would basically just comment on that. So me commenting on something that's been a known joke, you know what I mean, is different, you know, than now if you can if you did an interview and you said like I believe that so and so bangs animals like and there's a real issue here, like that would be that's slander. That is like where you're hurting someone's character. Um however, perpetuating a meme or or retweeting a meme that already exists you know, that I didn't start, that I obviously didn't start, that we can prove I didn't start, you know, well, the whole thing is all these other people are saying that about him. So now I'm commenting on it or jabbing him with it. So that's not a lawsuit. So that's, it's, there's not, you, you won't win that, you know? So, and that was probably one of the best things on there. You know, the other thing that he had on the, uh, the slander case against me, uh, that Mustang man sent out was, you know, that his, making fun of his penis or whatever on the show or something but it's like well no because i didn't make i didn't do that I, and nobody there's nothing there's no law against that number one number two his ex-girlfriend called the show and said it like we didn't say it she called us we said hey why are you calling like what's up and then she says <laughs> you know hey small dick like all this stuff well that's on the def on 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 the thing like to stop like well, I didn't say that your your ex girlfriend said that and first of all it's not it's it's not illegal for her to say that anyway but if you have a problem it's with her not even with me I didn't do it nor did I ask yeah, and, her to and do how it how are you going to dispute that like what are you going to send everybody right. pictures of your dick yeah so it's just so stupid <laughs> it's ridiculous um tons of people do it every day plus you're a public figure so you're going to lose you're going to lose um, same thing with CM. Yeah, people said to me like, "Oh, Jake, look at your giant dick." You know? Yeah, and I'm yeah. Like, uh, I know no. it's a lie. They're just humoring me. But my God. Well, the thing is, so with CM Punk is, the doctor needs to prove with CM Punk. The doctor needs to prove that CM Punk knowingly lied to defame him and slander him and all that stuff. And it's pretty hard to prove that. Because and he had absolute proof with the text messages, the emails, and right. all the other you know times that he reached out to WWE and their staff, and it proved outright that you know everything he claimed was fact. It was yeah. you know factual. It was all truthful. And you know what that does now? Yeah. It says that his podcast, it, you know, was was fully legitimate. For any doubters out there beforehand that thought some of the things that Punk had said. You know, during that expose, if you want to call it that, you know, sitting down with his friend, <laughs> it, it just sheds a light on the fact that, oh, my God, everything he said was true. So now you right. think about the things that were points of contention, like the Ryback stories that he told about being injured by Ryback, um, him creating the shield. You know, there was a few, you know, tidbits here and there that people really had a hard time, you know, you know, accepting. It was a hard pill to swallow. Right. Well, the fact that he's backed up every other thing on there, not just with the case, but he's proved time and time again things about Roman, things about... So, I mean, it, it just makes him that much more truthful, I guess, you know, and proven right. Yeah. And it, it this just only helps his case. I don't know what they were hoping to achieve here, but... And yeah, now I don't know. we know that the doctor is apparently being let go. By the so WWE? It's, yeah, it's, it's been widely rumored... As soon as the I thought he already was today. gone. I thought he was gone. Then I thought he was still with the company. And I, I'm yeah. All they held the on to him till after I guess the court case was finishing up. Why? I, I, I think I, it would look bad for both WWE and the doctor if they let him go while all the court proceedings were going on. It would certainly you know? hurt his case a little bit, like because then Punk yeah, been like we'll see, he got let go. And since he represent represented the company, can't talk tonight, right? Um, you know that made it that much more of an issue and Adam Ant has been right about shit so far he said there was a meeting that was supposed to be held at you know HQ in Stanford Saturday yeah. they moved it up to tomorrow for Wednesday Aman is done and WWE is now about inclusion and they're having like hard talk about bringing Punk back and that's supposed to go down tomorrow not that they will but the fact that you know it was the doctor that caused the split not just management he was the key player also with Daniel Bryan yeah, maybe they're so starting Amon to think. was the, the one that held back Daniel Bryan and wouldn't clear him as well. So, mm. 
Yeah, so I mean, maybe they just, um, maybe they're, maybe they're agreeing. Maybe they're realizing it. Maybe they're like, you know what, this guy didn't do the right shit. And maybe, maybe they, maybe the evidence with the evidence coming out with Punk's texts and stuff like that. I mean, I know that Punk's yeah, this, this shed some light on his situation. How many other issues has he caused? There's, there's apparently more people that want to come forward. Wow. I heard about this from a person I do talk to privately, and they said that there's more that would want to come forward, but it jeopardizes their contract. So, but people, if they were to leave you know, have had many issues with this doctor. I believe it. Yeah. You have to prove stuff. And yet, like when it comes to free speech and giving your opinion on things, um, you know, you really got to prove that somebody really was like a detriment. Like it would have to be like, like if J if you left, like if you weren't here tomorrow, like on the show, Jake, and I was like, well, the reason why Jake DeMarco no longer is here is because I, he beats his wife, you know? And I just went and started telling everybody that you beat your wife. Like, don't go talk to him on Twitter. Don't go to his YouTube. Don't anything. Jake is gone because he beats his wife. He's a wife beater. And uh, and if I kept saying that, um, like, legitimately, like, that would be a case for you. Like, you're slandering yeah. my name. Like, there's a whole crowd of people attacking me. Uh, they think that I, I'm a wife beater, all these things. Um, you know what I mean? If I legitimately was saying that. But if I said something like, you know what I mean? But if I made a joke about it, like, oh, I don't know why he left. He's probably going to beat his wife or something. He's probably beats yeah. his, wants to beat his wife. That would that's different. That's why context matters. But so not only much. but not only is that different, but the, it's still it's still not, it's still pretty bad. But it but it would be like if, if people online started saying Jake left the show to beat his wife. You know what I mean? And I started commenting on that. That still again, you know, would would be hard to prove. You could say perpetuating a lie or perpetuating slander or something like that. But even that would be very hard to prove uh, in court because I could you could say, well, this thing, this report came out that that's what was going on. And people were tweeting about it like constantly. It was a big news thing. So then I just started joking about it. You know what I mean? But I didn't tell yeah. people he did it. You know, that wouldn't even work because th those cases have been thrown out, too. And again, yeah. Like it's just you know you, you need irrefutable proof, right? You, know, you need you can't say I think or I believe. It has to be I know. And if people start saying, if other people start saying that you did something, and then I start saying like, oh, you know, it's, hey, it's being said, you know, it's a news story, it's allegedly. That's why you say allegedly all the time. You know, you say, well, allegedly, you know, he's slapping his wife around or whatever. You know what I mean? But if you say that people say that you eat dog manure, you know what I mean? And I say like, oh, you know, Jake eats. Why don't you go eat some fucking dog manure, you, you shit-eating dog manure-eating fuck? You know, you, you won't be able to win a lawsuit for me saying that why don't you go eat some sh dog shit. You know what I mean? So if people start saying that you eat shit, and I start being like, why don't you go eat some shit, you fucking shit-eater or whatever, that's you. Th that won't get me in trouble. You know what I mean? Now, the person who originally tweeted, hey, Jake DeMarco eats dog shit, you know what I mean? That guy maybe could get in trouble, maybe. But Maybe. Even, but even even so, he it's a joke. So again, it's going to be hard to prove. And you're a public figure. So once again, like it has to like, did that hurt your business? Did that hurt your brand? How did it hurt your brand? How did it hurt your business? So then, so that's the second step, right? After all this, you then have to prove how you got fucking hurt by it. You know what I mean? So like, if WWE hadn't let go of this doctor, the and, and they and they let's say that CM Punk was in trouble, and they moved to the second phase of this, the next thing they would have had to do after that is to say, well, how has this actually impacted you then to the doctor? And if, if it's zero impact other than he's now dragging this to court, you know, they're going to say, well, you know, he did say these things, but it appears you still are employed and everything is, you know, most people still respect you. And if CM Punk was smart, he would even call on like, you know, uh, people that like the doctor to say he was credible, um, you know, but that's just his opinion. And, you know, he probably still would have made it out, even if it had made it to phase two or what I call phase two. So yeah, the next step you need to then. Yeah, you need to then prove how it hurt you. You know what I mean? And yeah. you, you could probably prove like if I said if I made a whole video saying I'm telling you don't listen to Jake. Don't go to his channel. He beats his wife. He beats her all the time. I know about this behind the scenes and nobody else knows about it. It was hard working with him, keeping it secret. And then like I made a video like that. You know what I mean? You could you could screenshot all the comments, all the hate, all the things that happen. And you could yeah, say capture the video. Right. And... He said I beat my wife. Like there's people harassing me and my kid. Um, people unsubscribed to me on YouTube, costing me views. Now people don't want to watch me, but they do want to threaten my life and harass me. You know. So then, if you grab the words that I said, where I said that you beat your wife, like that's very, 
that's dangerous. That could possibly, and even that would be tough, but that could possibly get you in trouble. That yeah. would be a problem. Um, and then you. And could, it's only because the bitch didn't make dinner. Yeah, fucking. Why'd you make green beans again, you cunt? Stupid whore. But see, like that's those are the extremes that you really have to go to to get in trouble for stuff like that. Um, yeah. Usually. Speaking of going to the extremes, did you hear about the streamer got on Twitch the other day? People captured it. Um, he went ahead and beat his wife and then his son on the stream. Wait, what? He a was minute. just. He was there. He was playing. Wait and a minute. He, he started raging, got pissed off, and attacked his wife on stream. Who? Who? Uh, oh, wait a minute. I saw so this guy. Yeah, I saw him. Yeah, days ago. Yeah, he slapped the shit out of his wife. He's in trouble. He's in jail. Yeah. Well, now, yeah, now he's, you know, not only been arrested, but been uh, tried as well. There's no way he's got now. He's got a $100,000 bond, I believe. Yeah, he just got up and hit her, and then it just got worse and worse. And uh, the, the wife, you know, testified, uh, uh, you know, or reported to police saying that, you know, he immediately knocked me unconscious. He picks up my limp body and throws me. Then he walks back over and gets on his video game. And then that's when he started to attack the son. And so I'm glad that so many people went ahead and, you know, reported this. And I mean, phew. at least wow. people reacted to something properly for once. <laughs> Usually you see all this outrage culture and hate going towards ridiculous things but this deserved it yeah that the, i saw i saw the video of it dude he beats the shit out of her like he slapped the fuck out of her like if there was somebody to go after like you talk about roseanne and stuff like that was a disgusting tweet but you know when you know that the lady is not white but this guy slapped the fuck out of this girl this guy should have his ass kicked like and he's got a kid i think too you said i didn't see him beat the kids though did he do that too there was previous and oh, i dude. guess that's it. It was a, a different capture. And also, uh, she had a protection order, I guess, on him years before. And then they had Dude, reconciled and fixed things. And, I want to break this guy's arm, like, right now. Like, I want to break and, his arm and then snap and as far as the head. Roseanne thing goes, you know, I know we're not on SmackDown, but we'll straight back in a second. Her co-star, Sarah Gilbert, addressed, you know, the cancellation saying, I stand behind the decision. Mm, and, sure you know, this was this was trending all over the place. She has okay, to. They, or she'll she be called a, or she'll be but, called a racist. She has to. But it was all of her co-stars that went in on her and Roseanne, and it's it's ridiculous because, I mean, in the same episode, um, you know, the co-stars made some you know racist jokes themselves, and it's like, uh, it's all dumb, dude. You, the whole it's so the rose it's so. The stupid. problem is you're holding one person accountable, but you don't hold other people. It's the bias and, and uh, unfair treatment. Yeah, the world's fucking stupid now, man. Trust me. Yeah. It's it's so dumb. It's a dumb tweet, but a dumb. But it's like move on. It's like all right, she fucking did something stupid. But the thing is, dude, what we the, the reason why people are so mad is because if you believe she's a racist, like if you believe someone's really a racist, it's just like believe. It's just like seeing this this guy punch that girl. You never give it up. You're like, nope, never gonna forgive that guy. I saw him beat his wife and kid. But like what Roseanne did, you know, what I mean, if you if you don't think she was really racist, then it's easy to be like, oh, she that was a fucked up tweet. She should be in trouble, but, you know, move on, you know? But other people don't see it that way. They see it as like, oh, you are fucking in trouble. Why the fuck are we talking about Roseanne again? Anyway, let's uh, play a donation. Hey, Joe and Jake. Hey. You know me. I choose not to watch any WWE television. Good idea. I watched your Red Sox destroy my Tigers. I'm sorry. Martinez, he is a fucking beast, bro. Dude, that was nuts. I saw some of it out of the <laughs> corner of my eye, man. I don't know what Bailey's going to do, though. I don't know what Bailey's going to do if the Knights lose. Bry Guy, thank you for the donation, man. The $4 Roar donation. It's on fire right now. It's coming up again, too, I think. Can you hear these, Bailey? Uh, I'll take my dick out right now. Jake. And Sean's viewing a payment. And you want to see my, my dick? dick? Do you want to see my dick? I will show you my penis. I'm Sean's view. Don't screw with me. Or else I'll show you <laughs> my Why do I have to be fucking sick?
God, I DK what it is about Sonia, but I want to show her my ooh face and release. <laughs> on her buns, love ya, Joe Jake, and comment on the CM Punk court rulings from today. Oh, that's funny. Uh, Jim Kays asked us to comment on the CM Punk stuff. Well, I think we just kind of did. We covered it pretty pretty decently. I'm no I'm no lawyer, uh, but Jim Kays, thank you, man. And uh, yeah, you know, I find myself strangely, a, in a weird way, thinking about banging Sonia too. Like it was weird. I was watching tonight, and I was just like, "Damn, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about everybody." It's really strange. Amber, Amber Dobbs, what's up? Thanks for subbing to the channel, Amber. Goddamn, Amber is a good name too. We might like Amber as well. Well, assuming she's of the right age. But yeah, the, the, <laughs> but the name, uh, but the name Amber is always nice. Now I'm now I'm creeped out. Big cash. You gotta be over 18 to play on this playground. So Sanity was backstage tonight and was found, but again, no promo or TV debut. Yeah. Still think. Sanity official debut is at Money in the Bank, so they can Nikki Cross debut with them. Cump shot. Yeah, big, big cast, big cast ass, or big cast, big ass. Thank you for the four dollars. Big ass. Uh, you got the. Uh, I think you got it right, man. I think they do. May, they maybe debut at uh, Money in the Bank. It does seem like they're going that way with it. Um, maybe even later, but yeah, man, they might. They might be coming at Money in the Bank. I, I don't really care anymore, to be honest. I've told you guys this. I know Matt the Misfits creaming in his pants, waiting for this shit. Uh, Michael Taylor, thank you for subbing to the channel. Too sweet. Oh, we just got sued. We're going to get a cease and desist, too, <laughs> for that, uh, for copyright. Somebody from Japan just subscribed, I believe. What's up? Uh, Hayao awesome. Gosaimasu. Uh, Hayao Gosaimasu. <laughs> Roseanne tweeted out nine hours ago, I'm making restitution for the pain I have caused. Yeah. Mm. Shut up, Roseanne. Um, you know what I want to see? You know what? You know what? Maybe, maybe you know what? I, I there's a weird sick part of me. I almost wish she killed herself just so everybody would feel bad. Joe calling as Mike was so much freaking better than Rob or none. <laughs> hey, thank you, John Wills, for the five dollar super chat, man. That was the one I read earlier, actually. Thank you for the five bucks. Yeah, you know, I kind of there's a part of me not to stray from wrestling again, but there's a part of me that wishes Roseanne would just kill herself because. That'd be, you know, then maybe everybody would shut the fuck up and stop, like, piling on people all the time. And, like, we could pile on the real people that are, fu like, I mean, people that are more racist, like, actually fucked up. You know what I mean? Instead of stupid shit. Like, I mean, you know, there's so much worse shit to go after. Uh, that girl left, uh, we'll talk about this later, but um, we gotta, we'll talk about this tomorrow. The chick left uh, Instagram from uh, Star Wars, the Rose character chick and whatever. We'll talk about that tomorrow. My name is Kane. Donating. It'll be up on Corrupted. Sup, Joe and Jake. SD Live was slightly better. Yesterday was flaming garbage juice. Mm. Also, when Nakamura was looking at the pen, he reminded me of the Asian guy reading meme lol. Mm -hmm. Also, Mandy Rose has that golden pussy. Willy Wonka has the ticket. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. No death. What's up, no death? Thank you for the 666 <laughs> Nell Death, one of the best moderators in the entire world here on the Joe Cronin Show. Um, yeah, I would want to forgive Roseanne, but stick up for my black friends and stuff and make sure that people realize, like, fuck you and your racism. But it's comedy and it's Roseanne. You know, that's my deal. I don't want to bury someone's life over it either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Punk Jake. ISNT coming back, especially if her shows up at all in. Oh, that's a good point. I don't. I think he will come back at some point. CM Punk's cock. I'm so sick of talking about it and the fact that we always are talking about it. But uh, he will. I mean, come on, he'll come back some point. We don't know when that point is. The next one to three years. You know, I don't know. Depends how much they want to pay him in the spot they want to put him in. And uh, Jake, dude, I, not to stray again from SmackDown, but my God, dude, did you see what happened? You probably didn't see this. We were streaming uh, PUBG last night, As and we... the most insane glitch ever took place. No, I didn't see I, it. Are you ready for this? Like, you guys, oh, oh my God, you have no idea what's about to, what you're about to see. It's, it's, quite, it's quite amazing. 
Uh, let me get. Uh, is there audio too? Because I watched it on the stream then. Uh, yes, there is audio. All Actually, right. yeah. Let me try to trigger the audio real quick again because it's pretty important audio. Like it's. I can play it on the stream while you're. It's only a few seconds behind. Let me. Uh, Shut up, what's up? <laughs> Let's try to trigger the audio real quick. What's up, everybody? Call the show. I'll fuck your ass. God damn it. What the fuck was that reverb? Hey, you suck, <laughs> Joe Cronin's dick, drums. fucking faggot. All right, well, I don't think that triggered it. But I did break no, my eardrums. I did blow my <laughs> eardrums out. All right, here, here's the video, guys. Jesus Christ, my ears. You speak. Oh, yeah. This. We're not done with SmackDown. Over. I'm just, I just have to show everybody this. This is too fucked up. Cut off. Yeah. This is insane, dude. Is that a person? Those are people out there. I saw the tweet with you driving. Oh, oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was gonna hit these people, there's people up here. I was gonna hit these people, and then I turned, and I guess these buildings didn't render. And then they rendered while I was driving through them. As soon as you were driving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god, what the fuck? Just to see the garage and the wall form on top of you. <laughs> Yeah, because somebody had the focus on you know, the bus with your face driving. Oh, oh my god, what the fuck? I was laughing just about that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? My fucking game. I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Beyond Xbox. Dude, fuck you, Xbox. Like, seriously, That's fuck the clip you. You, need, you know, that, that audio cue only on Xbox. That's Xbox. what you need to, as soon as that <laughs> fucking boss hits the wall. Dude, like, I mean, like, <laughs> we had, we had, like, looted so much shit that we were, like, ready to go. And I was, like, for no reason, I was, like, let me run these guys over and try to k kill these guys. And the next thing you know, I'm in a house and then blowing up. I mean, just, <laughs> like, it was so <laughs> ridiculous. I mean, Troy um, saw the house in front of him. He just judged it wrong. You... You got that surprise boo-foo there. You got totally butt-fucked. I don't know why. Shit just ain't loading in that game the right way right now. Especially, I'm using an old... So I'm using, like, the original Xbox One. Like, the like the old, like, the first month Xbox One. And so people are telling me that, that, that um, that's a major reason why the loading's an issue. I need the Xbox One X, but obviously I don't have 500 bucks to drop on one. Um, yeah. Now, Serious O Shit said that's why Fortnite's better. I disagree. First of all, Fortnite copied them. But second of all... I enjoy the randomness. That's one of the things I like better about PUBG is like anything can happen and weird weird glitches sometimes happen. And sometimes you can do some things that aren't quite right. It's weird. Um, I love that. Like Fortnite, I play it. It's just always the same. It's going to be the same and every time and whatever. Now, some people like that. I, I like both games, by the way. Again, I like both games, but I also like being able to go into first person. I, I hate third person. Especially in multiplayer games, I like it in like Tomb Raider and shit like that. But I don't like it in Resident Evil. But I don't like it in multiplayer games. So I'm not very good because of that. So um, anyway, that's my that's my point about that. And uh, that's it. Let me play some more donations. See what we're at. what other wrestling questions we have. <laughs> oh yeah, motherfucker! Smackdown. I'm gonna cry in the corner. Come in, my Mr. Mac Man. <laughs> oh my God! Hey, Chris Amon, it's the doctor, everybody. He's gonna cry. In a He's a redheaded doctor too. That's. Like he's got that sadness in his eyes, Chris. I'm sorry you lost the the civil uh, trial, man. I'm, I apologize to you, but I mean, I get you defending yourself for sure. But hey, I don't know. Fuck it. I mean, CM Punk's a pretty high profile guy. If he says you suck as a doctor, I guess if you're worth anything, you're gonna f you're maybe gonna fight that. I guess. I mean, see, I'm not about yeah. lawyers and stuff like that. You know, I would have just been like, you know, I still work for the WWE. Like, I'm a great. You know, everybody knows I'm a stand up doctor that. You know, only cares about the talent, you know. 
So that makes me think that the doctor did do something wrong. Yeah, because, especially since WWE didn't get rid of him at that point. Right. And they stood behind him saying they, they well, had the best world class. That is weird staff. to me. That is weird to me, though. Like, so it makes me think that he did do something wrong. Yeah, it certainly seems that way, and that's why they didn't want to get rid of him. Well, that doesn't make any sense to me. I, I feel like you would definitely get rid of him. Like, you would be like, you know, well, after, like, I, see, I would feel the way things go, like, with outrage culture nowadays. That with CM Punk coming out and saying I was treated improperly by this doctor multiple times, he sucks. Like, I, if I was WWE, I would say WWE is launching a full investigation into the claims that, you know, the doctor, blah, blah, blah. And then they could have found out all the info about the text messages, about how he handled all these situations. And then WWE could have been like, you know what? We just fucking, we got to get away from this because it's going to go bad. So, Yeah, and Rick Badboy makes a great point. This makes it now harder for him to find work. He could have just said, oh, I'm leaving to lessen the strain, strain of hours and traveling or something like that, and everyone would have believed it. But sports medicine like this, he's he's not going to be wanted anywhere. I, I find it hard to imagine. Yeah, I don't, I don't. I I don't know. I don't think you think people are really going to be like, oh, you're the doctor. Like now they get now. Yeah, word travels and, and. But don't you don't that, you that kind of stuff matters. You're going to hire somebody that caused all these problems, and it's all bad optics. Don't you think it would have been better if th that he had not sued Punk? He would have been less in the limelight. Oh yeah, because people first started to forget about it until the lawsuit came around. Like you know, and I mean, people didn't necessarily believe Punk either. There was a big shadow of doubt. Was yeah. he just a bitter former employee that was spouting off and what an idiot being angry for, you know? Yeah, this doctor's an idiot. Um, this tells me that he is wrong, probably, and some kind of narcissist. Um, because why would you? Why wouldn't you just let Punk say his stupid stuff on the podcast? And then go on and work somewhere else because nobody else would care. I feel like I feel like almost nowhere else is going to care or even know about this. WWE is going to give you a good recommendation, and none of them have, are probably going to have heard CM Punk's Coke Cabana podcast. Somebody could exactly. probably be like, "Hey, you hired the doctor that sucked or whatever that said CM Punk." And no one's going. That's like just probably not going to happen. Most yeah, likely, it's so obscure. And but you know. now, now your name is in Time Magazine. Uh, yeah, it's been proven TMZ. in the court of law that, you know, these facts stood true. <laughs> right. And now, uh, by the way, the court of law, technically the court of law aren't saying the facts are true. Technically. Yeah, they're saying that Punk believed what right. he said was, was yeah. So, but, but, but it doesn't matter. To make it, people's minds. But it doesn't matter because the guy's name is all over court that he lost and that he was claiming that he didn't do something. So it's, it, it's already there. So he incriminated himself in many ways. Even though the yes. court decision doesn't say the doctor was wrong, it just and says all like these said. text messages and emails are now public record too. Right. Now that the court case is closed, so people can have access to that. And these facts show Punk, you know, mm -hmm. asking about all these symptoms and being, you know, very sick at times and being ignored. So maybe the UFC will hire him or some somebody will hire <laughs> him that doesn't want their athletes to fucking always be complaining. Well, Punk's got his fight and that's 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 a thing too that I feel bad for Punk about. You know, what, the first time he had all these issues, he was let go on his wedding day. Now he's in the process of cutting weight for a fight he has Saturday and he's in court for hours and hours and hours instead of preparing for the fight. You know, uh, days on end and like it's just it's always bad timing for him and you saw at the end you know when the, when the verdict was announced people were saying that he was in tears and hugging his wife and i don't blame him because it's been a long drawn out process what a bitch but you know what though i, I would be i'd be upset too because you're an, you're an entertainer you're having some fun saying some shit on your podcast and the next thing you know some guy wants to take you to court over it it's pretty it's pretty ridiculous and it, couple, and it took it took <laughs> years is. of your life up, years, of, dude. Like I would never do well with these things. Like I would never do well. Like in court, like, like my life would be destroyed. I feel like it, you know if 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 Mustang Man had had tried to like even do that. I, even knowing that I was gonna win, just being involved in that for two years would be stupid on his part and my anybody's part. But just being involved in that is such a waste of time. Unnecessary every, added it's stress. Everybody's exactly. I mean that that may be honestly like I would try to find the best counter sue lawyer there is to sue somebody for basically intimidation, stress, just all kinds of shit that they harassed me like about this and threatened me. Like I would have all that stuff as best I could, and I'd be like, you know, let's just fucking continue this motherfucker, you know, because that would piss me off, dude. So I do give punk credit because I might try to. 
I might try to choke that doctor out. You know what I mean? Hey, you want to take me to court for three years over dumb shit? I might fucking kill you, motherfucker. Like, how about that? Is your life worth this shit? Because I would, I would, I would want to choke that guy if he was across the court from from me on multiple occasions for all this bullshit. I'd be like, dude, I'm gonna choke you. Like, you're taking my time away from my kids, away from all the stuff I gotta do over horse shit. You know, um, I think the doctor clearly is wrong, and fuck him in the ass. We'll get back to the donations in a minute. The donations down below, guys. All the list of donations are down there. The four dollar Ryback is active. Um, Jake, you got some more uh, news and shit you want to talk about real quick? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go pee myself and refill my water here. I'm a dog. Jake, can you not hear me? There oh, I can now. Yeah, that was All weird. Right. Yeah, I said I, I wanted your opinion on this one. So when you get back, I'll bring that up. Okay, I'll be right back. But uh, James Storm comments on potentially, you know, having a beer money reunion reunion in WWE. So. Uh, What's up, Leah? You know, you never know. That would, <laughs> he said, that would make for some glorious beer money, and a lot of merch money. Commenting uh, re in a response to a fan on Twitter, so that was you know interesting because uh, Scott Fishman said bring back beer money, and you know James Storm was all about it. You know, and Storm has been backstage multiple times visiting people, and apparently there has been interest in in possibly pro uh, procuring him and bringing him into the company. So I'm all about it. I think it'd be good because Bobby Roode is dead in the water right now needs something to do and i think that'd be fun you know it'd be something interesting i i like them as a tag team and i you know certainly would like to see how wwe can ruin them <laughs> that's what it all comes down to uh Apparently, as well, uh, according to the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Progress uh, Wrestling Women's Champion Ginny has been signed to a WWE UK contract. So Ginny Couture is the first ever female graduate of the Progress Wrestling School, the Projo, and she started training in 2014. Um, and she's the current women's champion there in Progress, and she's getting her own WWE contract, so... And it's going to be a UK contract, so good on her. Congrats. You know, it's certainly, uh, they just seem to be sucking up as much talent as possible, especially in the UK area. It feels like they're threatened by what's going on in the UK. That certainly kind of seems to be, you know, has have a semblance of truth to it. Uh, also, it seems like whatever they did last night kind of worked because Monday Night Raw saw a slight increase in viewership as compared to the weeks before. You know, last week uh, we had a 2.593. Well, this week we got a 2.594. 9.4. So not a massive increase, but up just a little bit. Um, we saw it at the main event for Finn Balor and um, Kevin Owens. It was a 2.39, as where last week they only drew in a 2.3. But you figure whatever viewers they lost last week, this kind of makes sense. So the slight difference is that fact that last week they had, an, you know, it was a holiday in Memorial Day. They had an NBA playoff game going on. And, you know, there was, there was people's just attention elsewhere. You figure NBA Conference Finals and the Stanley Cup really brought the viewership to an all-time low. So Raw was number two for Monday Night Cable with their biggest competition being the Stanley Cup Finals. Uh, this week, so, but you figure, you know, that slight little increase, you know, kind of shows that this is where they're going to be for a while. This is, this is kind of it at this point in time. Uh, we'll, we'll, you know, hopefully in one sense, I'd like to see them keep going down. I doubt it would make a difference, but it's almost as if they're just purely content, especially having the networks, you know, fight over and pick them up and, and let them be sold. What are you going to do? So... Uh, also, yeah, people mentioned the Bumblebee trailer. I did watch it last night. I'm glad that Michael Bay didn't ruin <laughs> this movie. You know, he doesn't have his hands in this one. Looks like it could be good. For all the, the touting they did about John Cena being such a major part of this movie, you only saw him in the trailer, non-speaking either. You only saw him in the trailer that I saw for milliseconds, it seemed like, in some type of, you know, Josh Duhamel army role. Uh, the origin story for Bumblebee could be fun, though. Looks like, the, you know, it could be interesting. They say, you know, every story starts somewhere kind of idea. Looks like it could be could be good, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'll probably check it out. You know, 
after the fact when it goes on home release unless people say that it, it really is excellent. But I'm I'm you know, not not greatly looking forward to it, but I think it could be decent. Yeah, we had seen Sanity make their uh, debut at a house show recently, and I was curious to see if they were going to do anything with them tonight, knowing that they were in town at Corpus Christi, but we saw no, you know, no Sanity. Really, D-Moon, you said you hate Sanity. Hmm. I don't know if you're trolling or if you're actually serious, but that surprises me. You know, there's there's so many people that are big fans of them. And uh, one of the things that I want to bring up to Joe when he gets back is the fact that we heard Shawn Michaels say that he's possibly open to one more match. Heard you that. Know, it's been eight years. Ah, you're back. Perfect timing. He's yeah, going to beat The Undertaker. He's open to one more, you know, a one-off match. You figure it's been eight years since we've seen him wrestle. And he did an interview with Sky Sports and said people stopped asking if he would return to the ring once he'd been retired for five years. And despite the lack of offers, he said he would consider wrestling again if it was a one-off. I w- it would have to be done the right way and just for one match rather than something that ran for longer or had to be built. And he said, but for a one-off match, it'd need to be a tag team match where Hunter and I can just do a few crotch chops and have some fun. Oh. Saying that, you know, Triple H would be the most likely way to get him back in the ring. So you're saying, like, he won't get in the ring with AJ at WrestleMania. You're talking about DX reunion. Yeah, because, you know, Sean said that he would have loved to have faced wrestlers like AJ, Daniel Bryan, Gargano 10 years ago when he was still in shape for wrestling. Mm -hmm. However, he would say that a tag team match with Triple H would most likely be the best way to get him back into the ring. Wow. I mean, even if he did a one-off match with a DX reunion, sounds like something the company would certainly be all, you know, all about and consider. Yeah, I mean, you know, that wouldn't be that exciting. I mean, it'd be all right to me because, I mean, I love Shawn Michaels, my favorite wrestler of all time, but I feel like we've seen him sort of show up at WrestleMania. Like, remember the whatever the Sting thing? And he got involved yeah. a little bit. Like, he super kicked some people and stuff like that. So, And I, he also was involved uh, with Rusev. And the, remember their, their Nation of Domination, whatever team they had? I forgot the name of it. Oh, I don't remember. It was now. him yeah, yeah. and... Oh, the... Uh, Wade Barrett, it's like their own little access of evil. I forget the name yeah, of yeah. the team, but <laughs> I forget now too. But yeah, it was some compatriot. Yeah, it was, you know, whatever it was. Somebody in the chat will remember in about three seconds. It was forgettable, is what it was. Yeah, it was certainly not enjoyable. Yeah, I don't. We saw know. Austin and, and Mick Foley come out. League of Nations. League that of was Nations. It. Yeah, I wanted to keep wanting to Christmas. say United Nations, but I knew that wasn't it. <laughs> I knew that wasn't it either. <laughs> it's the United Nations, everybody, and Will Trump. No, look at Nakamura, dude. I love this scene. It was so funny to me. Even even Paige, like who would you think would be awkward in this situation? To me, wasn't that awkward. Like she kind of like did her. It was yeah, like, she did well. It was she's like, actually gotten better as the weeks have gone on. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's certainly all right. a lot less cringeworthy than, you know, Kurt Angle it's, is. It's Dixie Carter, baby. She has that feel, doesn't it? Yeah, or, doesn't she, she, I should she, say? She needs to be Dixie Carter, but, like, even better. Better than Dixie. Dixie could probably have a job if, pa- if Paige wasn't there. What is Dixie doing? I don't even know. Not a goddamn thing. Was it? <laughs> she, um, yeah. Dixie, Dixie Carter. Where are you at, Dixie? I haven't talked to her on Twitter in forever. Did you see the Bumblebee trailer? Yeah, everybody, man, sent me that fucking Bumblebee trailer. I got it a hundred times as well. I was talking about it before. People said it was good. People were like, oh, it's good. I'm like, what? I'm like, I didn't see it, but really? Like, you think this I I said I'd see it when it came out, you know, on video. I I, I wouldn't go to the movies to see it, but I'm not overly interested in it. I I like the fact that Michael Bay, you know, isn't involved with this one. It don't matter. But they've ruined so many of the Transformers movies. Wait a minute, but isn't he the producer still, though? I don't believe so. I, I don't really? quote me directly on this, but that that's at least one of the first things I had read. I'll double check, but well, maybe then because I mean, like Ninja Turtles, he really wasn't. He sort of just worked on the production and casting and stuff of that, and it still looks. And you know, Ninja Turtles still seems full on Michael Bay. So. Yeah, this is you know the first real spinoff, and yeah, he's still got a producing title attached to it. He didn't originally, but now it says Lorenzo D. Bonaventura. Bonaventura. Mm. Yeah, you're fucked. Tom DeSanto, and then Michael Bay. Good luck at that so, movie. But uh, hey, maybe yeah. it'll be. Uh, it, it'll probably be better than the last three Transformers movies. So like, I'm you know, sure it will be. Maybe. Not as long either. 
Yeah, because it's so stupid. It's a small, stupid movie. Um, maybe it'd be all right. I don't know. There's donations. We you want to see my dick? I'll see my, I'll dick? my dick out right now. I'm Sean's view on payment. And you want to see my dick? Do you want to see my dick? About 20,000 of unwilling uh, f of your subs, saw it. Yes. Including many of them under 16. You don't screw with me <laughs> or I'll so show. Damn, I like the way you think. Let's set up a triple threat against Sonya. Just no docking. Yeah. Each other. Nut bunnies. <laughs> Jim K's. What's up, Jim? Jimmy K's. Good old Jimmy Jack K's. Would have been a good wrestler name. I mean, I know it's Jimmy Jack Hayes, but Jimmy Jack K's, baby. That'd be the guy from uh, like Atlanta or whatever. He'd be a different <laughs> and guy. I don't care. Hey, thank you, man, for that thirteen dollar donation. Super Appreciate that, Jack Matt J. Party, Matt, Matt the, the Misfit. Misfit. The only thing that matters is the chaos. I had a pretty good dream about chaos. It's useless to resist. Chaos always wins. Chaos, AD. I'll be elite. Sorry, um, <laughs> Matt J. Hendricks. Thank you, Matt the Misfit. D Moon's not a, a sanity fan. I wasn't sure if he was trolling or serious. He said he just doesn't care for him in the chat. He said that, uh, you know, he's just not about it. I don't care that much. I I, I don't care that. much. I do like them. I'm not. I like them like Matt is. Matt wants to rape him. Matt but, wants you know. to like be in the group. I think like he wants to <laughs> be in the group. Like he's ready to go. He wants to be inside. Yeah, he wants to be inside them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was, you know, fucking back in the Attitude Era. Like, I was obsessed with, you know, with so many different stars. I wish I still had that kind of affinity for wrestling right now. Like, I still enjoy it, but there's nobody that shines quite how they used to. Yeah. I, I And th the last thing I feel like they really had was Daniel Bryan, truthfully. Before that was Punk. But I, I just... I wish they would let people further develop their characters. Here we go. You hear this? Yeah! That was a those sounds like a cover. It's not the real song. That's a goddamn cover. It's like an instrumental cover. Goddamn Sepultura. I want to fucking. I used to play. Actually, we used to play that song when I was in my metal band. We covered. Uh, we played Chaos AD and we played. Uh, what do we play? Well, what do we play? Something else too. What the fuck else did we play? I think we played like Eye for an Eye or something. They used to play. Oh, hey, that's a good song. I have the video of it somewhere. I mean, one, you know, for some of you fuckers who are crazy, I'll dig that up. I will find. Great, I would love to see that. I will find us playing "Eye for an Eye" at. Uh, I don't know if it was at the Palladium in Worcester or at somewhere, and I will play that. It'll be funny. People will get a kick out of that. <laughs> um, let's see, Matt. Matt the Misfit just dropped another two dollars super chat. Yeah, it says Jake, I want to be in Nikki Cross. Get it right. Ain't that a fact, buddy? She does have those big. Big boobs. She has that crazy cute Super look. Chat. Yeah, yeah. Party. So crazy, you know she'd rock your world. No, Suck Jake, I want to be in Nick She's and Cross. Get crazy. it right. She is crazy. Yeah. Like, I'll, I'll suck your dick. I'll suck it off. I'll suck <laughs> it off really good. Roots! Bloody my That's chaos. My voice is jacked up, bro. That's I couldn't even do that anymore. Max. Yeah, No Death says he wants to see that shit too. Yeah, I'm all about that. Yeah, I, fucking, I, I, I miss playing so much. I used to love. We had a, a coffee house near here called Planet Bean, and then they, uh, when I was a freshman, they started hosting local bands, like yeah. you know, my open mic night type stuff, and the metal scene that opened up then, you know, this is like 2001, two ish. Yeah, was just fucking incredible. So I picked up a guitar, learned how to play, and started a bunch of bands and. 
It was great. I miss I miss playing live so much. I think I was 16 when we played that, so like that was really going back. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was I was about 15, 16 then too, and we'd go and you know play a bunch of shows and uh one of the best shows I ever had was at our house. I, I we had like a my step grandfather and grandmother went away for an anniversary. Yeah. So what we did was we they had an unfinished but finished basement, so there was no like furniture or anything down there, and the yeah. acoustics were great. And they had a pool and all that shit, so we went ahead and we set up the live show in the garage slash because the garage was attached to the house slash in like where the kitchen would be. Yeah, yeah. And all the fans, you know, did, they got in, you know, all the people that came just were packed into either like the deck area outside or in the living room. <laughs> and we played in the kitchen in the garage. And we literally rocked the house. You know, it was it was fucking great. Bro, I've got um I can't find I don't have it on this hard drive, so I've got to go pull it off on another hard drive somewhere. But what I what I what I do have that's kind of funny is us recording our C D in the studio and uh we're just sitting around our drummer was like 14, but look at this dude. We're in this guy's studio. We're just waiting because he were mixing the tracks, and we're there yeah. for hours. So by now we've gone crazy because we've already recorded everything. <laughs> so, Get that studio sweat going on. We're waiting for him to bring up the tracks and be like, "What do you think about this?" And let's put this in there now. And I'm, you can tell I'm losing my mind right here. I'm pacing around right now, and I'm just like, I'm just ready to come unglued. Like, and by the way, I'm wearing a nothing face T-shirt. If everybody can see this, it says it's everybody's time to die. I, I, I think about I wore this shirt to school every single week. I wore this shirt to school every single week. And it says, it's everybody's time to die. That you, was the one with murder is masturbation, right? Um, Violence. That's one of my, that's my favorite song by them. I don't remember if that's on that. I don't think that's on that CD, but I don't think so, but I don't remember exactly. <laughs> but I know that I know that you can't wear it's everyone's time to it's die. Time to die. <laughs> like, but I mean, this was after Columbine too, so nobody, still nobody cared. Like, I don't. But they did say things sometimes. You did have to take off your shirt. But I, I don't know. They never said anything to me, and like, I wore this shirt all the time. <laughs> Worst shirt I ever wore was Jericho's "Would You Please Shut the Hell Up" shirt. Oh know? yeah, yeah, hell yeah! After a while, they started banning the hell yeah. Like you can't have a shirt that says hell. I was like, really? Yeah, that Talking was ridiculous. About. We had the same thing too, because I love Mudvayne. I'm listening so intently here, whatever we're li- we're playing, but you can tell that I'm ready to just fucking get the ADD is like <laughs> get really the fuck out. Yeah, I, I was. I remember I was thinking right here that um, they were trying to, was trying to put this guitar part on top of this acoustic part. And I was deciding if I wanted to redo the vocals on it right here because I was like, hmm. Like, I remember thinking right here. And then I just zoned out right here. We watched this. <laughs> There's no difference. With the, dude, I was like 15. Or, no, 2001. How old was I? So, 94. So, six Super more years. Super chat. Confused. Party. I don't remember how old I was. Speaking of great metal band Sabaton, fuck yes. Jesus, I never hear anybody bring them up. That's fucking crazy, Matt. Yeah, I remember them. Fucking Jesus Christ, that's uh, I didn't really listen to them that much though. But I remember other people that did for sure. I remember Dawkins. We got into a Dawkins phase for a while. Look at the fucking. Our drummer was thirteen. He was nasty too. Were you born eighty four? Yeah. Yeah, so you were like sixteen, seventeen seven, 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 there. Maybe sixteen. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh my god. Holy shit, bro. That's funny. That's- <laughs> what do we think of Jericho's new fuck face gimmick in New Japan? I think it's fucking hilarious. What are you doing? Fuck face! I don't even know if that's what he's is that what he's saying? I haven't I haven't heard it. If you, I wish you could bring it up. Oh god, it's gotta be good if he's saying fuck face. That's hilarious. Oh my god, I wish I could hear that. Fuck face. Is he, so is he calling people fuckface? Even got he's like, "What are you laughing at, fuckface?" You know, and <laughs> it's just um, what are you laughing he's at got fuckface. Uh, t-shirts coming out too, I guess. Oh my god! Is somebody that... sent me the link. Yeah, he said, "What are you laughing at, fuckface?" And it's got the the lion, and he has. Is that from a movie too? Like, didn't someone in a movie say that? like, "What are you laughing at, fuckface?" So like, oh, I know what it, I know what I was thinking of. He stole Leah's line. From the from the belt video from months ago, remember, oh. when, mem- remember Leah said, um, "Hurry yeah. up, hurry up, fuck face, fuck face." Yeah, he stole Le- Leah. Jericho stole your shit. What the fuck? 
He stole Leah's shit. Chat. I'm pissed now. Oh my god, yeah, Leah said hurry up, fuck face. What a cunt. Jericho, you miserable fuck. Why don't you block me again, Jericho, you pussy? God damn it, he stole Leah's line. Our poll on Raw the other night's up to like 600 votes now. Jesus, now it's up there. Really, now it's fine. I gotta find, uh, what a shit. I was trying to figure out why it was so familiar to me. I'm like, oh, this sounds so goddamn familiar. That's because I put it on, um, I posted it on uh, Twitch not that long ago. Hurry up, fuck face. Dude, there's people that like, were like sending, like, want to pay Leah to walk around and just abuse them verbally <laughs> while they jerk off. Leah, what, you, well, you when she was going this? off on Troy the other day, that was great. What, Leah? No, I don't want to either. Why? There's people that, like, when you flipped out on Troy, like, they're really into that. They want to be abused. I want to be abused. Why? You don't think that's gross? That I want to be abused? Or that other people do? Uh, no. Because I, I got it. Like, I, I see that video, man. And you're like, <laughs> hurry up, fuck face. And I'm just like, yeah, tell me what to do. And beat me. Slap me. Beat me. Like, put on a bathing suit and just tell me to beat the shit out of myself. Hurry up, fuck face. Hurry up, fuck face. <laughs> up, fuck hurry face. up, fuck face. Hurry up, fuck face. Hurry up, fuck face. <laughs> hurry up, fuck face. 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 Hurry up, no, that fuck said, uh, face. tell up, Joe to look up Jericho's up, promo for Naito. Up, uh, he's in a hotel room. Hurry up, fuck face. Hurry up, fuck face. Get the Hurry evil up, face. Fuck face. Oh, he's Hurry in a hotel up, room. Face. Hurry up, fuck yeah, it's gotta be gotta be great, I'm sure. Hurry up, fuck face. Hurry up, fuck face. Hurry up, fuck face. Hurry up, fuck face. Oh, there she is again. Mmm, Leah. Leah, boss me around. I want to play Diablo with Leah. Oh, this is a funny uh, monetize this picture. Anyway, we got to get over to PUBG, guys. I think we fucking nailed nailed it in the coffin here as far as SmackDown goes. Um, I got Troy coming on. Uh, D-Moon looks like he's game. Jake, you want to see some glitching tonight? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play for a little bit. All right, pussy. Kid. The HDMI wire broke. Right, I'm not I'm not fucking fucking Hang on. Man, I'll tell you what. If you're not on Patreon and you missed... Uh, corrupted the other night or a couple weeks ago when I flipped out. Fucking dude, this never gets old. <laughs> it's so good. Pussy fag. Hey, hey, I'm not listen. Doing this. Hey, I like oh, it when you're actually you in the closet, you fucking slamming it. Yeah, right there. When yeah. You start beating on the door. Like you hear Leah saying something to fucking Scott, Everything's and then gone. you just start fucking slamming <laughs> into the door what? with your fist. I'm guessing the mixer's still working because you can hear me. Oh, but I the bashed the wall. Gone. <laughs> Too bad that thing was covering the white quick, thing was covering the screen. Going on between Scott yeah, and I know. Joe's, Joe's really mad. Like for At first, Scott I thought it was something on the wall. Joe's honestly, there's so much more, guys, on on the Patreon on Corrupted episode 49 under the pre-show. But there's so much more. There's so much stuff I didn't even cut it all up. It's just me breaking things and. And then Scott said all fucking Ken the quick, other night on his birthday. Joe's really mad. He has like, the ultimate oh, ability to get under the host yeah, skin, I like, guess. Shit. It's a superpower. Yeah, I guess so. It's gold, though. Really mad, but he got Ken really pissed. This Not as pissed I, as you, though. Shit. This is where I broke my PlayStation. <laughs> and the minutes. keyboard. I, it's like and here's where I got locked out of my house. <laughs> There he is. <laughs> there he is. Let me see. Like ah, he's into the window. It's still so good. On, dude? He's getting messages. I didn't do nothing. Messages. And Ken was so drunk he was trying to fight with Scott. Like just episode 49. Was it 49? I think it was. Yeah, it was 49. Just a fucking odyssey of corrupted, man. That was uh, every every couple, like every 10 episodes or something, you get a whacked out fucking thing. And uh, that was definitely the most wacky it's ever gotten. Oh, yeah, because it started off with the pre-show, and then Ken was so drunk, down in cheeseburgers after fucking pounding liquor, and, like, all of it, like you said, it was just the, the perfect storm. People are, um, what are you doing Friday? People are asking for the Jake DeMarco to show up on Monetize This again. Oh, I'll be there. Oh, you're going to show up? Oh, I'll be there. All right, we need a fill-in. We're not going to have Ken, so we need a I won't just fill-in, I'll fill you. Need you Anybody to, that wants it. Need you to 
fill in. I will fill you. I'll fill in you and Fami. <laughs> fill Fami. Yeah, Fami's going to be there, by the way. This show tonight was sponsored by Fami. Fami sponsored NC by Fami. I almost forgot to say it tonight. You <laughs> Get yours me. at Fami NC 2010 on Twitter. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, so what we do, guys, some people asked in the chat. I'm sorry to, uh, to plug it randomly and not even tell you. Um, so obviously to, to, to continue to not only generate income with the shows, but I have two separate channels. Joe Cronin Show, which is my wrestling channel, which is mostly about wrestling, Joe Cronin Show. Um, and then we have this Corrupted channel. Now on Corrupted, it's supposed to be little highlights from our Corrupted podcast and little podcasts and news stories and th anything else that's not wrestling. But due to the fact that I can't go live on Joe Cronin show right now, we're doing all the wrestling over here as well. So, you know, whatever. But on Patreon, I do a morning show called Morning Madness, which is I'm on episode 94. And you get the Corrupted podcast every week that's two hours long. Plus, if you're a patron, you get the pre-show and the post-show. And that craziness happened on the pre-show. And so basically you get six to eight hours of bonus content a week if you're a $5 patron a month. So five bucks a month, you get about 30 hours a month in bonus podcasting content, videos, and craziness. Um, a lot of people say it's the best thing we do. The best show I have is Corrupted on Saturday nights on, on Patreon. Um, you know, a lot of people think that Monetize This is the best show. And when I when I've put out polls, it's always been corrupted. Monetize this. Monetize this wins because more people watch that. Obviously, free. It's free. A thousand something like yeah. four thousand people love monetize this, and probably like th maybe three hundred people are able to watch on Patreon. Corrupted. But, if you uh, polled patrons, I bet you they would say corrupted. Monetize this, yeah. and then out of nowhere. Oh yeah, I, think I guarantee it would be like it. one, two, three. Because on corrupted, there's no donations. There's no anything like that. It's just we're podcasting because it's already paid for by the patrons. Five bucks a month. Everybody that's on there. We have over three hundred and seventeen patrons. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think that people's favorite shows are monetize this, corrupted, and out of nowhere. Those are the three right there. And then everybody else usually may just enjoy the wrestling news of the podcast or these reviews, you know, but I think that those are the most important shows, what we do. Um, you know, they're my favorite things. You know, I, the, these reviews, I don't go back and watch these a lot, but out of nowhere you can go back and watch because it's a, more of a live podcast and stuff like that. But yeah, if you're not a patron, you know, become a patron if you want, if you think that the show's worth it to you and you uh, want to support what we do, but not only are you supporting what we do, it's like, there's a lot of people that have Patreon where they just get money every month and they don't do much of anything really. Or they give you a special, they follow you on Twitter or some stupid shit. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not that we're actually, I'm, I'm giving you lots of content. You know, that's the idea is like, you're not only supporting us with two or $5 or whatever, some other people are doing more, but you know, you're, you're going to get a bunch of content. You know, it's like serious satellite radio or something. You're supposed to get a bunch of shit. Um, I'm trying to look at, uh, my new pledges, by the way, real quick, gotta shut them out. And then we're gonna play some PUBG right now. We got Troy on board. Uh, yeah, Matt the Matt the Misfit became a ten dollar patron again. Cheeseburger went from a dollar to five dollars on Patreon. Robert J um, went to five bucks on Patreon, and David Cochran five bucks. Robert Morris ten, and Brian Ramirez two. Mister Kyle Will ten. Stephen Hankey, Minnesota Vikings. Cody Gata, um, Spider uh, Spiderland and Mr. Knox 3060 all back up on Patreon. Thank you guys for becoming patrons and being patrons. And patron, patron, patron. Okay. Can we uh, get some PUBG? Let's see. All right. I'm going to meet you on the Xbox. I'll be there in a minute. All right, baby. It's X. It's right. it's time. I hope we don't have a glitch like last night. Hopefully not. <laughs> I'll catch you in a minute. All right. Here we go. All right, guys. I'm just going to get the Elgato up again like last night. And it's up there. So I hope you guys can jump over to Twitch. We're going to be live on Twitch now, uh, streaming uh, PUBG. And we're going to stay on YouTube for a few more minutes, too. So, D Moon, if you want, man, I'll send you an invite on uh, on uh, Xbox. I'm going to send Troy an invite, too. I do leave the donations on. So if you want to still chime in with some shit, we'll still talk about it. We'll still answer it. Matt Hendricks, man. Matt the Misfit. Matt, thank you, bro, for being... Obviously a badass supporter like you are, and you're a good dude. I love listening to Matt. He's old school. He's like OG Central is Matt the Misfit. And uh, God damn, he's always got a lot of shit to talk about. 
Holy fucking Christ. I'm trying to get the uh, the whole thing mapped out here. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go, guys. Who's hard? All right, here we go. Cool. Yay. I did it. I did it. Where's my other fucking camera? You guys want some footages? Who wants some footages? Oh, this ain't footages. This is something else. Shut up for sauce. Yeah, that was a, that was the day when I was really mad at the sh at the people called that called up or the guy was I think it was I was mad at Dave. I think Dave Rose. Who wants to go? Call the show. I'll fuck your ass. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> dude, fill these fucking laugh. All right, let me get in my party here. Where's my I need my Xbox controller. Oh my god, where's my Xbox controller? Why do they have to touch these things here? Alright. I need to hide this controller and buy a new one. Ah! Uh, Goddamn kids! This controller is covered in sticky. Oh my god. Oh shit, Bones Ball 2121. Thank you for subbing to me on Twitch, man. Holy shit, dude. Thanks for the sub. We needed some more subs. Bones Ball 21. There we go. I need to get the music off. Oh, what's up, baby? I need to, I'll be right there. I'm gonna go. I gotta go find my button. The kids keep taking my controller and then losing the thumbsticks. Well, I'm gonna have to play with this like extra long thumbstick otherwise. Oh shit, Jet718. Thank you for the sub. What's up, Jet? Holy shit, it's a fucking subscription party on Twitch right now. God damn. What's up? What's up, Moon? What's going on? Oh, God damn it, man. Thank you, Jet. Holy shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just looking for a thumbstick moon and then I'll be good to go. I'm just, this is so fucking stupid. Uh, you sent out an invite, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I joined you, moon, but I sent out an invite. Tonight is my last night donating to Ya for the next month. Ooh. I leave early <laughs> Thursday fun. morning for Romania. Oh shit. How's your day going so far, man? Joe, have a good travel, man. Uh, it's, it's fucking Romania. Good day. How about yourself? <laughs> Same. <clears throat> yeah, it just seems like one of those weeks already for everybody. Joe Compton, man, thank you for the for the yeah, donation, man. bro. Until Tuesday too. And uh, thanks for all the support, that. dude. It's gonna Have be fun a long in Romania. Week. Hopefully, hope it's a good time for you. Dipping in vlogging. Thanks for the sub on YouTube. Uh, yeah, guys, I'm just looking for my um, a button. My kids have my thumb. My, my thumbsticks are missing. You can hear that, right, Troy? You can hear me, right, Moon? 
Yeah, I can yeah, hear. we can hear you. Oh, okay, all right, I'll be right there. <laughs> Fucking sucks. Fuck. I invited Troy. Hopefully, he'll show up. He's in the party, but. Oh, okay. He said he got a new mic, so he he should be good to go. Not that fucking thing he had when he won that mountain game. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? me a beer you've got a new subscriber one of his awesome pokemon cards is benzin the kid over here he doesn't take care of me so i'll buy him for him anyway do you want to have fun sir yeah can i get one of um he said to just uh, start he has one in the nhl game to go Oh, never mind. No, it definitely started. Oh, okay. Just wants to find a fucking game. I'm still waiting on Joe, though. I think, I guess he's looking for something. <coughs> yeah, got a, got a headset today. Oh, nice. What did nice you get? Nice headset did you get? X. Paper X no Cloud Core. Is. How is it? You like it? I don't know. I've only had it on for three and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, they uh, sponsor the Intel Extreme Masters and Team Liquid. I was talking to the guy. Is it game a... audio too, or is it just? Yeah, it's both. Yeah, it's everything. Yeah, it's oh, a nice. PC. Yeah. Actually. PC, Xbox, PlayStation works for everything. And um, yeah, I wasn't sure you, know, you had it set up. The only one I always hear about is the Turtle Beach, but then he was recommending another one, something called Astra or Astro. Then, yeah, uh, that that one looked okay. Felt kind of weird. Let me show you this one. This one's actually nice. The um, the earmuffs are leather. The top of it's leather. The 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 braces for it are feel like some kind of metal, like steel or aluminum or something. The cords braided. Yeah. it's really nice. That's nice. It's like 60 I'm or 70 using bucks. Just cell phone earbuds myself right now into my well, turtle. I tried that the other day. The, the, I randomly found this. That I, want. I always prefer it that way, actually. Now, I have the Turtle Beach like $200 headset behind me. I just I use this. <laughs> I use headphones with uh, the $40 Turtle Beach adapter. It plugs right into the controller fucking, and it adds like play with this giant mic monitoring. Run. Oh, shit. Is he playing on a GameCube controller? We'll try and button. <laughs> you know, the Xbox Elite comes with a big ass button. I tried to buy it today. I wanted that. I was like, I wanted to get a new controller because all of mine have, at this point, are fucked up enough where they all affect gameplay. The left stick doesn't work or a bumper is weird. Yeah, and the Elite. They have a new controller coming out. It's a GameStop. It's like $35. It has the buttons on the back, but it's wired. Mm. But it's partnered through Xbox, but it's GameStop like only. It looks actually really huh. good. People said it's really nice. Interesting. But I realize like there's lots of stuff I could use it for, like where just games that don't let you fully map everything. Oh yeah, because I I can't play without the paddles now in the back. I have the A, B, X, and Y buttons there. I I cannot play even games that don't use the buttons. Like I was playing baseball with Danny. 
I still can't do but it without the paddle. You're just, it's muscle memory. It's a button now. Yeah, you're used to it. Yep. Yeah, my thing is... Um, One of the hardest... The, uh... What the fuck? My thing is, uh... I sent out a new invite. Okay, cool. I have to use this long button because... I can't find the regular shorter buttons that come with, uh... You don't need button, you need sticks. sticks. Yeah, there you go. I actually was gonna buy some of those. See, I was thinking about that, too, and I was like, oh, I like the extra buttons, I want longer sticks to try out anyway. Like, fuck it, I'll see if they got the Elite. And they're nowhere. The Elites are hard to find. Do you see that, the, the Forza? Do you see the Forza limited edition one they were advertising? I was like, oh, that looks cool, and it's like 300 bucks. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, yeah. That's yeah I don't know why because it has a paint what job. The that was the thing. The back is actual leather. Yeah, fuck that. That's crazy. We're missing, uh, it says Troy. <laughs> yeah, starting to start with that one. Oh, let me fix the let me fix the pixelation on the screen, guys. You guys may have to refresh your streams, but let me just fix it real quick. Ceiling, which I've been doing for the past two minutes, so uh, I'll be back in a couple minutes. Wait, so should we should we, should we play a game <laughs> or what? Yeah, play one. Okay, yeah, okay. play one. All right, three man squad. Three man squad. Yeah, I guess. All right, let's do it. I don't know how I'm gonna do with this fucking controller, but. I've been debating on buying an Elite controller. I've never had the necessity of changing it. I just... You never break on me like you guys say. I suggest that more than a, a headset at this point. I've got strong hands, man. <laughs> well, apparently, you know. <laughs> what the fuck? Apparently I've got strong hands. Yeah, this is the best controller, though. Uh, yeah. Like, just in general, the Xbox One. I hate, No, I hate it. I agree. I think... No way I agree with that because 360 never broke in your hands, you know? Like the 360 controller didn't just Well, no, break. I'm just saying like the I'm just saying like the actual layout of everything. Yeah. yeah. Not necessarily like the controller. I'm pretty sure the Elite is better. I, yeah, I mean I like <clears> the Elite, but I just I just don't get like how you charge $20 for something that's clearly um and by the way, the only people that report the problem are like 5% of Xbox users. Like, because I've seen it online, and most people go, you're just a loser, stop breaking your stuff. And it's like, no, the thing breaks in my hands. Literally, if I buy a brand new $60 regular controller tomorrow and play NHL, within a week, the, the thumbsticks snap from me just playing the game normal. Like, so that tells you that, and it's like, people are like, oh, so you're pressing too hard then, or something. And it's like, well, dude, let me tell you something. I've been playing video games for about fucking 30 years, and no controller ever snapped in my fucking hands uh, while, I, while I'm pushing the thumbstick too hard. Oh, I found a thumbstick on the floor that's the right size. Cool. Now I'm good. Hell, I've had controllers that I've thrown against the wall that didn't break. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, I'm not uh, throwing it against the wall. It's like, GameCube. it's literally breaking. And it's only in sports games. I noticed that because I, I think I push really hard because you're like trying to fight to get around someone in hockey or whatever. So, that's where it comes from. But either way, it's dumb. If I miss a donation, let me know, guys. I already see that... Uh, I'm really rusty, FYI. Oh, that's all right. Dude, me and Moon had the worst... Should we start school? Sure, let's go to school. We'll have a fight. Me and Moon... Yeah, I bet... School or apartments? Uh, let's go apartments, actually. Hey, Halo, what you were saying, I had the same thing. I had a controller break in my hands, too, when I bought when I first bought the Xbox oh. One, you know, three years ago, whatever. After maybe, like two or three months of playing the, the left stick just snapped in my yeah. hand when I was taking a face off yeah it's, it's always an NHL or Madden because you're always using that a lot and people just like making fun of me online because I made a video I was like you know fix your shit Xbox and they were like you know you're an idiot and I'm like we've got yeah. two on the apartments with us it looks like yeah I'm way, yep. I'm, I'm really far away so three four five I'm gonna be the last to land I'm hit I'm going on the furthest one out. It's I'm, a roof. Moon, you got two. I'm on the you. opposite of you guys. Yeah. Oh, I shit. See. I'm on a roof that I don't think has a I'm door. I'm with Joe. Oh, yeah, Joe, Jesus. Right here. That's me. My You're bad. punching. All right. <laughs> I, I couldn't. Jump here. Oh, my God. I couldn't tell. I was like, <laughs> who the fuck are you? Like, I'll sit downstairs. I said I was landing with you. I know. I completely <laughs> ignored that. I was just like, what? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, I'm done. Yeah. Alright, let's just get killed then. 
It's gonna be a quick one. I was actually doing pretty good earlier today. I got a win in the solo oh my for God. Miramar. Anybody looking at my screen right oh, now? Oh, nice. Yeah, but I'm really, really liking that map now. It's pretty good, actually. I think it's probably because like not everyone knows like spots to go for yet. I think we should take off friendly fire. Hmm. I don't oh, think it's added anything to the game. I don't feel like it adds anything to the game. I know it's supposed to be realistic, but I think with the server lag issue and the fact that, you know, you don't get people's names that load on time. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't know, maybe. If they fix that, then I'd be if all it for did, it. Uh, you know, if it, do if it doesn't help the, um, the loading and shit, then I don't think it's worth touching right now. Like, leave, just fix the optimization. Yeah. Are you still in this building, Joe? Yeah. Fuck. Instead of fucking Save suing that. people, fix your game first. That too. Can't have a hundred people. We have a hundred people. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they? Were they trying to buy the Fuck. rights to like Battle Royale or some shit like that? I mean, I would. You know, he should have thought of that a long time ago. After he made after he made H H one Z one, he should have thought of it then. I agree. <clears throat> I love how you just got quiet after that shit. I got this guy pinned in. Oh, I've seen yeah. the UI quite a bit. I got this guy pinned in over here. Berger just fucking knocks somebody's head off. With one of the worst hits I've ever fucking seen. Just dead on straight open ice hit. Like, oh, it's Weber. He just skated right at me. I fucking skated at him and he went down. <laughs> it's showing the replay and everything. Still trying to get the hang of that game. Fuck a joke, go aggro. He's in this room right here. Here comes his buddy. Joe, I'm coming to you now. Careful, coming in. That's his buddy. This whole team's in here. Oh, I got another one. He killed me. They killed me too. Another guy killed me in here. Yeah, light that fucker up. See you later, bitches. We spoiled your fun, you fuckheads. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Get your shine box, whore! <laughs> what the fuck? Dude? Holy fucking Christ, dude. That's, uh, that's a good fellas reference. Two. Minus the whore part. Hell yeah. There's gotta be. Nah, but it's, it's true, man. Like, the glitches in this game make it what it is. Yeah, it, make, it makes it more of unexpected fun. and shit. I want a deep. I wish something would fucking load. Hit your shine box, whore. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, we're on Twitch. If you guys want to come over to Twitch, twitch.tv slash Joe Cronin JCS. You better get get some ammo in that gun. I held reload. There we go. What's up, Fami? We got Fami in the chat on Twitch. Fami. Oh shit! The stream brought to you by Fami. Still. Come on, who else wants to die? That was fun. I love how you haven't played in a while and you're still the best shooter. <laughs> yeah. Did you see? Did you <laughs> see me, dude? Best. I had to jump on that guy and it still took me three times to shoot him dead. And clearly he didn't have much because he was hiding. He's got the elite yeah, controller. I think you got excited and tilted your gun by accident. Yeah, I did. I get excited a lot. Do we see anybody yet? No. I mean, we're all... I'm going hunting. Well, I didn't know if you caught somebody then. No, I missed it. Oh, I did... I, I had missed. I killed two people, I mean, I think. <clears throat> I got at least one kill, if not two. Yeah. I'll take it. I mean, I could run out and die. I'm just trying to see if I saw anybody on the way. Gotta give the credit to uh, Minnesota Vikings fan with 300 uh, Twitch bits. 
then Renegade, then Tyler Floyd. Tyler, thank you. Is Renegade. The Twitch stream is brought to ya courtesy of the one and only Renegade. Haha, <laughs> Renegade. Renegade sponsoring the Twitch stream, baby. Rent a God, I'll take Jesus for three hours. <laughs> 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 Holy shit, that's funny, bro. Took me out. Oh my god. Look at that. I knew there was one behind me too, but I couldn't. I heard the footsteps behind me. Look at all three Seriously, of them. Seriously, this thing's gonna wrap around. Up. Wow, that was. I need room that to been the best, uh... I got shot from three different ways: my back, my side, and my head, all at once. That might have been the <laughs> like best. Rent that's Jesus. the best Troy joke I've ever heard. I gotta say. That, I, 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 <laughs> I award you three rage points. <laughs> you can't award rage points? I award rage points. <laughs> that was really funny, though. That was. <laughs> this ain't a rageocracy. <laughs> well, I guess it is, but I'm in charge. Oh my god. Short side, fuck. Goddamn rageaholics. I guess let's play one more. I think Troy's still playing. We'll just go blazing again. Get our shit on. Head rage quit, but I'm only down one. That's been a bullshit this game. I rage quit two games earlier. Because I figure oh, I'll get all three in. I'll just quit halfway through these two because it's bullshit. Oh, uh, so they, have, picking up the they have things you can buy now, huh? You can buy the Banana Man suit in the instructor set. Banana Man. <laughs> uh. I already have the banana coat. I don't need the suit. What's up, Nate? Oh, this fucking piece of shit's puck ragging because I'm on the power play. Oh, yeah. Bringing it back to his own zone. Yeah. Dude, I hate that. Oh, Michael stole it. Damn it. When people do that shit, I just start going ape shit like in the game. That's when I, like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you now. That's the worst. That's when you want to hurt somebody. <laughs> Sir Cardinal's like, oh, Troy, you made a good joke. That's Calm when wives down get now. beat. You say that's when wives get beat? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> don't fucking... I read it up. I don't know why it's not... Don't burn the roast. Don't anything for views me here. Does it say nothing on the left, uh, Jake? Yeah, it says nothing on the left side. Yeah, just back out. You have to back out. It's a, the glitch that's been going on yeah. for a while. I have to back out all the way, or? All the way to the title screen, and then you'll be back in the group, though, once you go back yeah, it'll in. It'll be black when you come back. That's ridiculous. Yeah, just keep pushing B, no! and then once the title screen. Oh my god, how many breakaways am I going to fuck up? Yeah, I've had to do that every game, I think. When I was, well, only when you're the party leader, I think, or whatever. That's ridiculous. It's it's only when you're the leader, because I had to do it every game the other day. I was like, why I'm is not. this happening? No, that's weird. Oh, really? Oh, well, I guess my theory is wrong. <laughs> oh shit! Char just dropped somebody from a standing position. All right, guys, jump over on Twitch if you can. Twitch TV slash Joe Cronin JCS. The link is in the description box down below this video, I believe. If you go down, it says my YouTube channels. Watch me on Twitch, Twitch Gaming Channel, and that should take you over to my Twitch. But it's just it's just Joe Cronin JCS on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch if you can. Uh, thanks to the people that subbed. And if you sub, if you have Twitch Prime, remember, I mean Amazon Prime. I'm sorry. Remember, if you have Amazon Prime, you guys can sub me. It gives me money, and it's free for you to do, unless you're already sub someone else. Uh, so yeah. Come on over to Twitch. What a fun uh, SmackDown review it was tonight. Nothing happened on SmackDown, it felt like. It yeah. was like an abomination tonight. Uh, you know, after Raw. It was like Raw. Well, after Raw being so terrible, you just didn't want to even deal with SmackDown being that bad. Dude, Leah's brother was over uh, visiting, and, you know, he has, when he was living, you know, sleeping here. Her and Leah would play video games, and you know I have to do my show right here. So he's like watching the show, has to, has to watch wrestling while he's doing stuff with Leah, and I'm doing the show right here while they're right there. And I mean, you could even tell he was just like, "What the fuck happened to wrestling?" Like he, like he was even the same way. Yeah, like, no sorry, kidding. man. Yeah, like <laughs> I, you know, I think he was casually watching, you know. Although he did say that he was more in. Yeah, a, if it's in the room, you're hard not to. Leah. Did, Oh, hey, your yeah. brother, did your brother say he was more into watching the guys than the wrestling, though? 
Well, Leah's brother's gay, so like he kind of like watched. The, he was like into watching the guys. And uh, and down. so he was like he was like <laughs> telling me which one of the wrestlers he thought was the good, best looking. Now it was fucking funny. My plane still hasn't. Oh, whenever you guys want to go. My plane know. still isn't here yet. Did I did I jump? I don't know what's going on. Oh, you just jumped I, out. I, you jumped my, out. Yeah, yeah, fuck, my out. screen's all blank. Oh shit. What's up, fellas? I wish y'all could have seen that damn tank live. It was unreal like some third world country shit. It's cool. We'll go to the back end over here. Oh, dude, I wish I did see that tank live. Nate from VA. Thank you, Nate. I'm still- I still can't see anything right now. What the hell, dude? I'm still in player unknown's loading screen. Yeah, you're landing on- Oh my god, right shoot now. the fuck! This is dumb. You know, you know, sometimes the computer just starts swiping at the puck, but just missing, just like, doop, but doop. Yeah. Yeah, you're on the ground, Joe. That's the worst. Uh, hey, Nate from VA, thank you, bro. Do you feel it vibrate if I punch you? Yeah, I am. I can hear everything, too. I feel like I can jump and stuff. That's weird. But I can't see it. I can hear myself jumping. Like, Close the game. Hit the home button, and then close the game. Yeah, I don't want to have to come back in. Then it'll, you'll rejoin back in. Yeah. That was stupid. This fucking game sometimes, dude. Like, that's... This is the stuff that's like, oh, my God. They need to fix this shit. Like, this... Like, the glitches that happen are, like, really funny, but not these type of glitches. But, yeah, so, uh... Do you want to... You want to know, uh... Leah's, <laughs> Leah's brother was telling me who, uh... He thought was the best-looking uh, wrestler back when he used to watch it. And it's so funny when people say back when I used to Who's watch, because I'm like... I'm like, man, that was... That was, like, when you first started watching. When I first started watching, it was, like, Hogan and fucking... Macho man, but yeah, but her brother's younger than Leah, so you know you're talking about 24, 25 year old or whatever, 26. I don't know. So yeah, you want to know who his uh, favorite wrestler was? 27. Oh, The Rock. Who's that? And now it's ba it's Macho it's based man. on looks. It's based on looks. It's got to be someone newer. Yeah, it's from it's uh, somebody from like the ruthless aggression time. He's 24, so oh. probably a decade ago. 27. It was had a decade ago. So he's like, like uh, Randy Orton. Randy Orton. Yeah. Pretty good guess, but <laughs> Troy goes test. Oh my god! My god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's wicked funny to me. That's a good guess, I guess, but oh man! Uh, Everybody in the chat, somebody guess first. Pretty boy. Who's Jericho? gonna guess who? Uh, Leah's brother, who's gay. Thought was no, the hottest Chris wrestler Jerry. back in 2003. Excuse me, Moon. <laughs> I find it funny how we're trying to figure out who's like the good. Oh, I'm really guy. mad that her brother doesn't like yeah. me because, like, I wish I was like ripped or something. Like, because then it'd be, I think it'd be hilarious if her brother and me and Leah thought I was hot. Like, that'd be really amazing. I'd be like, I got both <laughs> brother and sister. Fucking awesome! I got the tree. <laughs> yeah, like imagine that I could, I could all, uh, in one night I could have both siblings. <laughs> I have y'all on the big screen in the house, Joe, and volume on fifty because my sister is getting fucked by some damn oh, nice. cop. What the fuck, shit, dude? Nate from VA just said he has to turn his volume all the way up because his sister's getting banged by some cop. I, I I'm still, not, I'm still, oh, what? I'm still not in the game. Oh, I can hear myself. Yeah. Yeah. The only out? crowd yeah. that will give Nakamura versus Styles the attention and reaction it deserves is Chicago. Dude, this dude's such a piece of shit. Uh, Bat uh, Batman is mad about the Nakamura uh, AJ Styles situation. Yeah, I mean Corpus Christi, but wasn't excited. But why would they be? Oh, I'm back. I'm in. Here I am. Do you need? Do you? Uh, I'm in. Gun? Do you have a gun, Jake? Yeah, I got a. UK. Guys, I'm gonna start running to the. Oh, okay, yeah, I was in. Uh, I'm gonna run to the circle. I'm in the game though. Holy shit, that took forever. All right, I brought a truck over here, so we'll swing over to Dude, you. Dude, I can't believe people haven't guessed this, because, like, this is somebody that everybody... Oh, fuck, Storm Maverick did. Storm Maverick, assuming he's the first one that wrote it. Yeah, Storm Maverick's right. You got it right, Storm Maverick. You win the prize What's of up, the army? The one and oh, only shit. bad omen giving <laughs> bits it? for the first time, but time to oh. go freaking hardcore. 
I'm going for the damn title, bro. Wow. Even better well, is my girl blowing me as right now. Saying? Real Bad Omen is donating a thousand bits, so I just lost my mind there for a minute. Yo, Real Bad Omen, you just fucking took the lead. Big time! Real Bad Omen, motherfucker! God damn it, a thousand bits, Real Bad Omen. Okay, the answer is, who is... I'm like really anticipating who is this answer. Chris Benoit! <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I said you. I said he could have. He, Wait, are he you could, probably would have choked you if you wanted him to. Yeah, I had all kinds of jokes after that. I was like, "Wait a minute, you thought that hit you?" Well, the worst thing was he was like, he was like, "Chris Benoit is my favorite wrestler from whatever." That's why I used to watch. I go, "Oh wow!" I was like, "That's pretty fucking cool." Yeah, yeah he was like, "Wow, one of the best wrestlers." And he's like, "Oh, I'm just talking about what he looked like." <laughs> I was like, "Oh wait," I was like, "Well, you." He goes, I really didn't know, I didn't know about wrestling that much, how good his wrestling was, I guess. And I'm like, really? I'm like, well, you picked one of the best wrestlers, like, ever. Did he know what happened to him? Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. This is you guys, right? Give me the hell, yeah! Leah's yep. brother's yep. favorite wrestler is really Cheese Benoit. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> I need a fucking gun. I don't have anything. Stop taking my building. I'm dead. We're dead. We're that? Killed. I have no weapon. I gotta get out of here. Got him. Oh my god, dude. A lot of shit going down. Fuck that guy. I need a weapon. You're not gonna die on my watch. Okay, well, fuck this guy. Alright, I got a weapon. He's got weapons on his body. Cool. I, I got a pistol at least now. Oh shit. You scared me, dude. Sweet. We got more shots coming. I'm being shot. Get inside. Get inside. Uh, Where'd that come from? Jazz559, five five thank you for subbing, man. What's up? Me. Holy shit. I was on that guy's body, so... It it's going does. off tonight on Twitch, baby. Jazz, you're the fucking balls. Leo, what are you doing? Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him, I see him over here. Yeah. Where? Uh, by where I'm at, there's one on the rooftop, and there's one on the bottom. Okay, by where you're at, there's one on the rooftop. So we can't just lose them right now. One's on the rooftop. What roof? One's on the rooftop now. Okay, so uh, north, you see what, what the building? Is at? Oh, I just, yeah, I can't. They all look like. Oh, you guys are out back. Hold on. Fuck. Oh, I see where you are now. I see where you are. Okay, so like that building with the little pillars on top, he's looking right at me too. Building with the little pillars. Give me a direction. Give me a number. Uh, north. West 300. Okay, okay. I'm running across the street. Oh shit, he sees me. Oh fuck. You son of a bitch. I need a better gun. This. Let's retry this. Oh, oh shit. Oh, you got him. I'm being hit. I'm being hit. Get inside. I'm almost dead. Fuck, I don't know where I got hit from there. That hurt. Yeah, just go inside. He's on top, dude. Fuck. I, I can't. I, see, I still see him. He's waiting for me. He, he's, he knows I see him. Fuck, I need a better gun. What the fuck? I'm trying to bandage myself up. Man, I've looked around everywhere. Yeah, that one guy started to shoot you, Joe, and I fucked him up, and then from there, I got shot in the head and the ass. In the, in the pussy. Like, all of it. Yeah. Okay. I'm just running away to go find a gun. Gonna, I have no weapons. I'm gonna go run towards him. Right, Moon. Give me, give me half a second. Ah, Let's see if there's any help gone. up here. Now it's on, bitch. Might be going down though. Cause I don't see him on fuck, the rooftop. Of course, there's anymore. no goddamn health anything on here. How the fuck does 97 Ray Bork miss the net by three feet? <laughs> Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, fucking bitch. Alright, I'm coming down to you guys. Now I got 60 rounds and a gun. Taking up an opposite. So I'm gonna start flanking that guy on the roof. Oh, I see the guy on the roof. Holy shit. From over here, I see him. You see him? You see yeah, him? I'm gonna go flank him now. Fuck. You're not just, I'm glad you see him because he's still getting in the move.
Maybe someone else sees yeah, him. Yeah, I see him. He's still sticking his head up. Oh, you fucking bitch. Hey, Joe, I will take my shirt off I can't of you see again him. on Instagram. Just kidding. Hey, Joe, I will take my shirt off for you again on Instagram. Ooh, Nate from VA. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty hot, man. Nate, you a sexy man. Sexy black man. Sexy black man walking down the street. I went down for the first time over a sexy black man. My uh, my uh, former drum teacher had a band that was sexy. Wait, lady. we not gonna get this guy or what's? Let's get out of here. I'm I'm trying. The to circle's sneak coming. Start pressing to the left. He probably is too, to be honest. <clears throat> I didn't see where he was. He was on top of that roof. Yeah. That, I threw, I threw a grenade <laughs> at him. For some reason, the gun hasn't helped me. <laughs> I heard that roof from both of you. I just never saw which roof. That I roof. thought you guys... Uh, I can see it from I here. I thought you guys clearly knew what building he was at. No, Moon, Moon, no. Oh, okay. I just was the only dumbass that didn't know which so one. So then I was way far away, and I Because I, I was out. getting shot. Circle's coming. Yeah, I know. Super I was trying to find some stuff inside. Party! Oh, shit. Still mad we were robbed of a Benoit versus CM Punk match in 2007. Yeah. That blows. Matt the Misfit talking about uh, CM Punk and Benoit not having a match. Thanks, Matt. Just go on without me. I was trying to find health stuff, and I'm going to be fucked. Just keep taking your shit. I don't find anything for health in a second. I don't have anything. Oh, well, keep looking for shit. All you need is a pill or... That's what I've been doing. Pills or a Red Bull. Just keep looking. Is this a game in real life? Yeah, exactly. Who's, just, who's driving right now? Not us, not me. Ah. Uh, There's somebody else in the Jeep driving. <laughs> I was gonna go out and kill the guy. Cause I'm at the circle pretty much. I'm trying to get out to the circle before I collapse, I might... but I'll probably die before that. Might be able to make it. Oh fucking Joe, you scared Big fight me. going on around us. About a fucking blast. <laughs> Big fight over missed. there, you see those grenades going off? No, I'm gonna collapse right as I get to the edge of it. God I'll come back it. and get you. Yeah. How far are you? I'm right there. Not far. Stay there. Just drop the bandage. I'm gonna heal you, grab the bandage, heal yourself, run. If it's only a bandage, he's not gonna have enough health. Well, at least he can run. Run. It's the first circle. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, There's a guy coming, you. Moon. He's in this building. Right, He's contact. in this building. Get ahead. Right in Moon. He's coming to you right now. Another guy. He just ran past us and didn't even see us. Moon, he's in that building with you. I don't see He him. ran past here. He's, He's not in the building anymore. He ran, he ran past, past us here. all. He's right in front of me. Right in front of me. Right in front of me. He's shooting at me. What? There's another guy? He's shooting at me right now. Oh, he's shooting at me now. Now he's hiding. Got him! He's in the us. He didn't die right away. Bitch. So he's got buddies. No, he didn't! He didn't! That's a different guy. Oh, he's behind this box here if you can. Oh, fuck, I thought uh, Jake was the bad guy. Don't kill me. I just threw a smoke bomb over there just to distract. That's okay, that's good. We'll take it. I'm going to loot the other guy. Party. This guy has a med kit. PUBG the movie starring Joe, Jake, and Troy. What do you need Here, drop me Jake? one of those, uh... Yeah. yeah. Drop me one of those med kits. 
even just hitting buttons in the menus with these headphones on is ridiculous. It's like boom, boom. Yeah. It's like THX. Thank you. Is that you guys coming? I'll drop some energy drinks in a second. Shit, circle! Oh shit. I'm down. Behind me. I didn't get a chance. He's to around the other side. That. Yeah. I got another medkit for you. I didn't take it. Fuck. Just take it now. I'm taking it right now. Thank you. There's a guy around this corner right here. Watch my back. I'm taking a medkit right now. He's leaving now. Fuck. fuck. What the fuck? What the Get fuck? Get away. Oh. Keep moving. I got our Red Bulls if I catch up to you guys. Oh, it's like down here. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on. Jesus. Jesus Christ, Lee. I don't know why, but you scared the hell out of me. Yeah, I'm like looking over my shoulder like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> wow, that was a weird ricochet. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe we're all alive. That was some craziness in there. Yeah. Like, this is like healing Jake at the line. I know. That was fucking crazy. Saving your ass from the fucking guy. Yeah, I, I should have been dead. All of it. Arm. Now I got a scar. I could have looted that guy for more. Yeah, I've got a mini with a 4X and a 4 scope. Oh, there's a ton of shit in this building I'm in right here. Holy shit, dude. You know what? Fuck it, I'm taking this hump. I'm just trying to look around and get ahead of this blue. I'm going to go right to this fucking cabin right here. Okay. Alright. Moon, you need energy drinks? Yeah, just at least one if you got one. Yeah, I got here. Here's two for you. So I got two. I just took one, so here. I got two more. Shit, I got three first aid kits, too. I'll gladly take one off your hands eventually. Got a, we got a suppressor for SMG. Oh, actually, we're pretty good with the circle. Yeah, that guy we had downed had a suppressor for an AR, but I didn't get to grab it because of the fucking circle. Oh, dude, I'm loaded right now. Extended mag, my fucking ump is loaded with the SMG, the fucking silencer. What the fuck was that? Back to the right of us, maybe. Yep. Yeah. To the that's right. that's Far so, right. Like, like, got eyes like northeast. Left, so Super chat. I'm trying to get inside. We're in the, the bottom. Of Kill someone for me, PLZ Joe Law. <laughs> hey, King, I will, man. I think I did. I already killed somebody. I killed someone earlier. Shit. But it wasn't for him. Here's an AR compensator. Thank you, King. Thanks for the two bucks, uh, Super Chat King. We got the lower half of the circle. We just got to make sure the ones behind us. Yeah, and they're coming. They are going to be coming from more like north, northeast, a little bit. At least that's where I heard gunshots. Yeah. I'm gonna drop over here and take a look. I got the back half over here. Is that someone in the bushes over there? I'm just checking these buildings quick. It might be. Where? Where? Straight ahead, like 290. I don't think. I think it's the bushes just not rendering good. Yeah, it's just. No, yeah. It's the bushes just not rendering. Uh, 30 something alive. We're on the edge of the fucking circle. Um, if we can get to like a mountain. Yeah, I'm over here in the back end. 
I'm waiting for the circle to come by. Oh, this guy's got a shit ton of ammo here. If anybody needs uh, 7.62, there's 60 rounds of it here. No, I'm good. I have 166. I need a brand new helmet, though. We got a car oh, coming somewhere. Fuck? Why? No helmet. Super chat party. TSS already made a PUBG video, Joe. Oh, really? About the uh, about my crash? I'll have to go take a look at it. <laughs> he ripped. Fuck him. He ripped me off. I'm gonna go to those three okay. buildings up ahead. The one, the blue, red, and yellow, right here. I'm heading there. Oh, okay. All right. Be careful. No one shot at me from there, but you know, it doesn't mean no one's hiding in there. I'm taking this spot right here. I gotta check that out. At least that's the back end. No one's over here. Yeah. No one's seemingly over here. Nobody can see me over here, I feel like, either. Except for if they were in those buildings that Jake's going to. So I don't think anyone's there, but... I got you, Joe. You're good. Yeah, this looks all clean over there. You got the good end. Yeah. Oh, man, this is a good yeah. one. This is a good spot, too. Yeah, we're not far away, too. Look at that. Jake's in it. We could go over here with him, or we could keep these mountaintops. I'm gonna close these doors and start jacking it, okay? Alright. Walk off, baby. I'm gonna watch behind us over here these mountains and see if anybody comes running across the street. Yeah, all these buildings were looted, but uh least we can hold here for a little bit. I'm just I wanna go through each building. At least if I'm gonna die I wanna know why I'm There dead. was a care package nearby, I don't remember where it went after that though, I lost it. It went up and over. Yeah, Moon, we're we're f into the heavens. We're safe, Moon. There's, there's yeah. nobody coming from behind us. Like over where we are, Jake. There's no one between me, me and Moon, and behind us, and towards you. Like so, anybody's coming. It's from the nice. other sides. And Moon's got that side covered, and I got this side pretty covered. So this is uh. I'm gonna watch the building. Fucking sweet. There's somebody driving with a car on fire. Holy fuck. Oh, he just blew up. Somebody must have just died. No, he's still on fire. Look, there's another one. He's just smoking. He's driving towards the other car on fire. What the fuck? Two cars are on fire. Like, what the fuck is going on? He's coming towards me right now. I shot at them. I got his time. 19 seconds. Do shit. Too far away. Alright, save your ammo. I have 300 rounds, baby. Yeah, just save your ammo, Joe. Going towards Car you, Joe. Coming. There's a helmet in here. Alright, I guess we should move. I don't see anybody. On the left. Alright, I got shots ringing out. I hear them. They're, they're, yeah, they sound pretty close. Alright, I see exactly where they're coming from, too. They're coming from 40 degrees, so north, northeast. Northeast, actually. There's a house and a shack to the left of it. The house is a green trim. It's a white house. The circle just went through it right now. Okay, I'm up on the second floor now. Uh, Jake, your descriptions are getting me hot. Green trimmed house. Oh, oh, you're way down there, Jake. I didn't know, there's a guy down Two there. Story. I didn't know you were way down there. I thought you were up here. No, no, I'm I'm in the thick of it. That's you right behind me. Man. I didn't come to play Susie Homemaker. Oh, okay, we got a new circle. Okay, we're in it still. Oh, you got you are. Well, you All right, are. now I'm gonna get in bed. I'm jumping out the window. You guys aren't in the circle. No, nope, huh? that's all right. This house that I have is clear. If you guys want to come to me, there shouldn't be many people around I'm us though. So I'm just taking a look first. 
I can cover oh, you. I'm going to your they are. They go, go, go. To jump out of the window. Go, go. Yep. All right, book it now. It might be at that church up on the top I left. Cover you. Be careful of that. Oh, I'm getting shot at. Getting shot at. Oh. Getting sniped. I hear the shots. They're coming from yep. over my head. They're on a ridge. Yep. Go further. Go further. I'll go further out, Joe. They're not going to reach you that way. Oh, your shot. Yeah, they are coming from over the ridge. I think Jake was right because once I got behind that wall. I can't even see him from the window out front here. Yep. Once I got over the ridge, they stopped shooting. What was that? I'm going to go crawl out front. That was me. You guys get in that building and go hug. Oh, there's still people in front of you. Fucking ump looks badass with like the suppressor and shit on it. Yeah. Yeah, it does. How you doing, Jake? See anything? I'm doing just splendid. I'm just double checking here. I'm in this building, kind of locked down in a way. I don't want. There's a guy. Oh. I hear it. it's. It, he's got whatever the new sniper is for uh, and the fucking. I don't know if it's still the 300 or whatever. If they changed it for this map, but. I'm in this little crevice right here. I'm gonna stay in this crevice I'm in. I'm in the middle of you two guys, in between two walls in this crevice. Nobody could possibly shoot me here, unless they were, I guess, on top of that wall. All right, I got sniped. Crawl away, crawl over here to me. Famous See Ryan, words. crawl over to me. No, I'm gonna die, but I see, he's in that exact spot that I described to you before. I don't, the house, green tree. I don't really know where that is. In front of where you were or behind where you were? All right, listen to me. Just stay in the house. Don't leave the house. I'm on move. All right, you gotta get inside that house, Joe. Nobody can kill me from here, though. Nobody can kill me from here. I'm in a crevice. Oh, all right. I didn't see the brick. All right, I see the brick wall behind you now. Until they I roll can't over turn the, the hill, they're so. gonna run. That's all right. I'll see them coming over the hill. Yeah, they were in that fucking spot in the house right as I saw him. You can't me, but that's okay. New circle. All right, Joe. You have incoming. Right now. Yep. Stay quiet. So Careful, Moon. Moon, they're out front of that building. You might be able to pick them off. Go left. Go look out the window. Right. You stay low. There's a sniper there, so you got to watch yourself. The sniper's you to your left, before Moon. You right there, move. where you're looking. Yeah, right from that direction. He's over there. And a house on the ridge. He's still in that house? No, he moved, but he's laying in front of it. You gotta move in 50 seconds. You may want to just go Maybe. now. You're not doing anything here. Go into the back, Joe. Yeah, that's where my uh, my box is. Yeah, you can loot them. Man. If you can crawl to it quickly, there's a 4x scope in there, but you might not have enough time to make it to the circle. All right, Moon, if you look up to your left a little bit, that ridge right there. Yeah. That's where the guy was sniping Don't from. Careful, Joe. Watch that house that you're running towards, up in the hill. Oh, great! One off is it? Circle went opposite. Oh, oh damn it, get, get low. Fuck. I see two guys. Just got done banging Nate's sister. What did I miss? Moon to your 10 o'clock, a couple hundred meters out by the second tree. And 
I see him. A whole bunch of guys there. Yeah, that's the third guy to run up there by that tree. They're, they're, they're all right there if you can get them. He threw a grenade over there. The one to the right. I'll let them fight. Nice shot. Got one man. of them. You gotta move up, Moon. Eight seconds. Fuck, they got me. I didn't, didn't see who shot. Oh, they're over there. To the right. Fuck. To the right. There, I see they shot me to death. They were focused on me still, damn. There's two of them at least. Yeah, they are the ran into the middle asking yeah, to get killed. No he literally died in the cross. Yeah, I didn't see the... I saw the guys on the left, the middle, and I didn't see the guys to the far right. Pretty decent game, though, but... We should have fucking... I should have done better. Yeah, not bad. CE more. thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Shouldn't have tried to kill that sniper. I just... He was gonna be a problem no matter what. Just got done banging Nate's sister. What did I miss? <laughs> he said... Wow. Oh my god, the... Hold on. That's awesome. I'm yeah, I'll be back. Cool. I'm gonna pee myself. Then we'll probably get Troy in here. My phone fucking died, are you kidding me? Fuck. Well. Wasn't too terrible. I invited everybody again. See more, man. What the fuck? That's awesome. Dude, shout out to Real Bad Omen for the thousand bits earlier. Holy shit. And uh, Matt Hendricks is still here, man. Dropping ball dollars. Yeah, I'm going to pee quick myself. I'll be Alrighty. Over. I got to pee, yeah. And piss, piss, piss. All right, everybody on YouTube, we're heading over to um, uh, to Twitch only. So, guys, come on over to twitch.tv slash Joe Cronin JCS. Link is in the description if you need it. And we will see you tomorrow for out of nowhere at 11 p.m. Eastern Time U.S. And uh, thank you.